Are we live? We're live. Hello, learner. Hello, gamers. My name is Pepkin Peppa. After some technical test, <laughs> We're back. We're live. We're live, boys. We're live, gamers. Okay. He hates us. Ah! Oh, God. Damn, thank you, Pippalita, as per usual. Ooh, also, happy 300k revenue. Also, happy to see this growth and the promised trip to Brazil. Damn, thank you, Pippalita. Happy 300,000 subscribers! Jesus Christ! It's fucking incredible. I never, I never thought I would hit this number chat. I never ever thought it was possible to hit 300,000 subscribers, but God, I hoped. And hell yeah. Hell yeah, nothing but a dream, gamers. <laughs> Richard Gober, thank you. Going camping this weekend, hopefully no one gets shot this time. Huh? Oh, but thank you, she lives a little pep on this episode of House Hunters. Hold on, House Hunters theme song. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get copyright struck. No wider than you, can't wait for the bourgeoisie huts. Um. Thank you, Carbonic Kid, for becoming Big Pee Pee. Six months, best decision ever made next to that one thing that happened that one time. Wait, that theme was so short. That theme was so short! Hold on, I'm gonna put on Minecraft parodies. Minecraft parody. Playlist. I don't know why it just it just really sets the mood today. I think it just really sets the mood. Um, I wish there was like one long compilation, but it's just a bunch of playlists. That's okay. There we go. Hell yeah. Creeper. Russell, thank you. Congratulations, 300k. Thank you. Wolf and Wings, thank you. 300k. The gold grows. Aaron Crafted, thank you. 300k. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh. Sergeant Thornton, thank you. Congrats on 300k. Thank you. Um, did we do? Thank you. Jesus, bump. Keep going and going. Number dogs, thank you. Hello, you silly rabbit to the moon. 300k is amazing. It will be here on the road to 1 million. Hell yeah. 1 million is a bit unrealistic. Uh, but we will enable. Thank you. Congrats, Pippa. You deserve all your success. Thank you. Thank you. Ready to go. Thank you. 300k. Let's go. Thank you. Another milestone pass. Here's to the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Rajum, thank you. Uh, cool, thank you! Um... Uh, Axel Moon Man, thank you! Step Realtor, going from strength to strength with the guest holes and first rip wrap and now put the buff. The Bismarck, thank you! Legit C Cup, thank you! Here's another 3 k k Uh, Krismic, thank you! Uh... Duncan Templeton, thank you! Listening to Captain Sparkles and looking at crazy ha houses, nice! Congrats on the hand, K-Rabbit, thank you, thank you! Emerson, thank you! Looking at Golden Gear, thank you for the tank and baby! Thank you! Um, Pippa, your house needs a dungeon and congratulations. And your faces, thank you. My diary said, I can say thank you for the tech the bees. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That alchemist, thank you. Oh god, there's so many. Zen, thank you. I got you, thank you for the tech bees. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not fair, what putting my nostalgia like this with the PDF? My guy that exists, thank you. Any celebrations in mind? Um, I don't know. I had time to think. <laughs> I mean, so thank you. Sergeant Buck, thank you. Justy's nuts, thank you. Congratulations, thank you, thank you. Uh, Hugo Andre, thank you. What do you think of people using AIs of your fellow talents for their own use? Like, like chatbots? Um, I don't really have an opinion. I think that's that's for like each individual person to decide how comfortable they are with that. I my my personal perspective on it. Not to like potentially butt heads with anybody, but my personal opinion on it is people are gonna do what they're gonna do. It doesn't really matter how you feel about it. You know? It's not like it directly harms you. So, if somebody gets like psycho parasocial out of it and they wanna, they, they come to your house and fucking kill you, like that's well, obviously that's bad. But I think that's an issue separate from the just the use of AI chatbots, you know? King Orsman, thank you! Jack Manson, thank you! Peppa, you're in a giant TV in an oil rig cafeteria! Anything to say to the miners? I love miners! 
<laughs> Dragon Lance is here, thank you for 5 gifted bees. Jimmy Jimson, thank you. Heck yeah, 300 cake. Congratulations. And 333k is just around the corner. <laughs> Black Rex, thank you. You all sold to me this easily, Rabbit. You crazy rabbit, keep pushing onwards. You have countless little Kabibis willing to follow you to the ends of the earth and beyond. Congrats on 300 k of love. Uh, Genki, Jisan, thank you. Congratulations on 300k. I think I first came across you when you were at 30k and now you're 10 times the amount. It's been really cool seeing you grow your career. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, your mom, thank you. <laughs> Jazz music stops. <laughs> Chat. Okay, this is gonna sound like really fucked up, but like, hear me out. Okay. I almost, I almost wish. Okay, I don't at all wish, but it would be funny. Wouldn't it be funny? Okay, to like make those jokes, right? To be like, I love miners, right? And you've got like the Minecraft music playing in the background or whatever. And you actually are like a Minecraft, like child predator, right? Like it's like child rape's not funny, right? But like to be like a predator and to like keep making those jokes because then you'd have like the, you'd have like the YouTube channel analysis coming out at, uh, on you, right? It'd be a content gold mine for everybody else. Because they'd be doing like the YouTube essays of like, and here's where they said they love minors. <laughs> Very specific. I was inspired by the dream drama. How like, I guess, I guess he made like some jokes about it. Uh, just like, thank you, number two, Bonoi. All right, Cora, thank you. Hi, Chad, I hope you guys had a good day today. Also, hi, Fifa, congrats on 300k. Thank you. Cora, thank you. Dig up. I can't dig up. I can't dig up, all I can do is dig down. I'm hunting for diamonds, baby. I'm hunting for diamond content. I think you, let's fucking go there and keep them so come so far. One mill is just around the corner, hell yeah. Hell yeah. When do the allegations come out? Uh, I do not have to worry about that. I mean, thank you. Cause I killed her, just kidding. Just kidding! Uh, 300 kids and same time sure congrats. One year is so close. And Dakota, thank you for the $30. Congratulations, thank you, thank you. Sammy, thank you in a dark comedy way. Yes, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Siberia, thank you. Congrats, you're a content machine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rizal, thank you. I made a t-shirt with a crossing guard that says licensed child trafficker. <laughs> I'm going to thank you. Cancel that 300k because of minors. Jam jar noodles, thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're getting some good mileage out of the new emote. Hell yeah, you guys like the new emote? I wasn't sure about uploading it. I felt like it was a little bit close, perhaps, to um to the Pippa What emote. But I feel like this serves a different purpose. I feel like this is like, what the fuck are you stupid? Kind of, right? And it's also like the, oh my god, she just said that. And it's also the, oh my god, I hope management isn't watching this, right? What is more like exasperation, right? It's more like, oh god. Oh god, it's so over. Oh god, you're disgusting. Oh god, right? Fox out of Priscilla, thank you. I love Mondays back in the mind. No more wag nagging wife. Tell the destiny, thank you. Pip love, congrats on 300k peak content. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I can show you guys before we get into the houses. Um, what are my new instant favorites? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, oh, AK, thank you. Happy 300k, you have it. Thank you, thank you. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I've been experimenting a little bit with some different different emotes and stuff. Um, where the hell? I know I have this downloaded. So where did it? Where did it go? Because I had to upload it. I have like some. Oh, there they are. I I experimented with like some bonk emotes, but none of them none of them read particularly well. So I, I I scrapped it. They just they just don't look right on YouTube. Here's like the process a little bit. This one's paparazine instead of pipsqueak. Yeah, dark ones are hard to do. Yeah, probably gonna stick to pipsqueak for emotes. I'll have to I'll have to try again. I'll try again. <laughs> Why black? Because it's it's pipsqueak or not pipsqueak, it's paparazine. Yeah. It's hard with the black background. Yeah, a lot of people use uh YouTube in dark mode and there's just not much contrast. Bullfrog, thank you. Congrats on 330k. Lots of love. Beep, 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 beep. Right in the villa, thank you. Congratulations on the 300k. I'm helping. My friend Robert told me to watch you. 
you had me at Pink Rabbit that likes to cuss a lot. Can't wait to see more followers in the later years. Hell yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get rid of these. Bum, 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 bum. Dark mode is just better. It's... I like the Terry one, honestly. We get some more, we get some more axolotls. But yeah. Why don't you put a white rim around the pal? Oh my god, you've been your your brain has been corrupted by pal world. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Dark mode superiority. Uh cock wobbler, thank you. You're on 300 k thank you. Bingo bingo bongo bingo tango bingo, thank you. You're on 300 k Pippa. Keep on yabbing and yapping. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Let's look at some fucking houses. Oh god, I forgot to I forgot to size the window. I'm so dumb. I'm still on that one monitor setup. I I have decided to migrate over to my desktop. I just I just have to set it up. Before I was a little bit uncertain because there were some things where it's like, oh am I gonna am I gonna just need to take it down again in like a week, but alas I've got a little bit, so I'm gonna- I'm just gonna set it up. I'm just gonna fucking set it up. Alright, here we go. God damn it. Crap. Crap! There we go. Go ahead, tell me, thank you! The 100k foot reveal feels like just yesterday. Congrats, Yabbit. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Congrats, Yabbit. Shout out to my friend, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon! Uncle Bingo Tango Bango, thank you. Oh, I already read that. Ria Zap, thank you. Congrats on the 100k pip up. Oh, today is my birthday. Can I get a happy birthday? Good. Oh, I read that. Okay. This is a good song. Good song. Chat, it's election season. It's election season. I I think I'm going to take in a bit of a hiatus from Twitter when it actually starts. Hello, Lord. Thank you. Your mic still cuts out when it's too loud. Really? Really? Well, I I don't think I can fix that. I don't I don't think I can fix that. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. I don't... Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. One of my settings got reset. Okay, there we go. There we go. It should be better now. It's already getting bad. I'm I'm already, like, sensing the, the, like, the beginnings of it. But, like, when it really starts getting bad, I'm just, I'm just gonna not use social media. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna log in to social media just to post, um, the stuff that I need to. Right? Like, my, like, go live stuff. But other than that, I just, I just, I, I, I can't be bothered, chat. I, I, I cannot fucking be bothered. I cannot fucking be bothered. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. I don't want to go on social media. It doesn't matter, like, how many words you add to the block list, right? Like, I, I continuously go through every time there's, like, really annoying political shit. I always put, like, all of the keywords that I can think of in the, in the word mute thing. And yet still, still... People fucking like censor it. Like it's like a like a slur. Like people censor people's names like it's a slur. And it's like, okay, buddy, you put a fucking asterisk in a politician's name. Now, now, now they're still popping up in my fucking mute again. They're popping up. I muted all this shit because I didn't want to see it. I don't like seeing it. I don't want to see it. You're forcing me to see it. Sorry, I was recoiling in horror. Here we go. Yep, yep, there we go. I hate that. Have you tried putting the into your block terms? <laughs> Tempting. Tempting. Really shouldn't use the for you tab for the rest of the year. But it, it auto defaults to that, chat. It defaults to it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate it so much. They should let you ban entire topics. Yeah, there's entire topics on Twitter. Let me ban the politics. Let me ban current events. I hate that too. I hate it when I go on Twitter and it's current events and it's like, here's a child that died. Do you want to see a child that died? Do you want to see? Do you want to see? Do you want to see this war footage? Do you want to see these people crawling out of the rubble? Here's some politician saying something stupid. Here's a child dying. Here's what it looks like when you live in a third world country. Here's what's going on in your very town. And it's like, oh god. Max, Max, thank you. Congrats on 300k. Remember to pal world to the stream pool. <laughs> hey, pal. 
Wait, 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 hold on. How did she say it? The only... How the fuck? How did she say it? All, all I remember is the Pokemon go to the polls. The only pal world I know is my pals going to the polls. There we go. You're free to... You're free to... You, all politicians, you're free to take that one. You're welcome. Oh, God. They will expect you to pick a side, Pippa. They can keep waiting on that. They can keep waiting on, waiting on that. Have fun. Have fun. No, politics free zone here, chat. Politics free zone. I don't, I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. Plenty of other places you can go. Plenty of other places you can go. I, I don't want to deal with it. It's so tiresome, chat. It's all so fucking tiresome. I just want to fucking grill, man. Fuck Santa Fischel, thank you. Current house looks like angry bucktooth cartoon villain. What? Bucktooth I can see this is like an eye. I used to own a castle, now it's boxes. This is like one tooth. But like what is what? Right here in the Buddy, I don't see the vision. I can see it. Yeah, two million dollars for this in New York. Two bedrooms, two baths. You're paying a million dollars for each room. You go, Andre, thank you. Elon could have used his money to further research on genetically modified cat girls for domestic ownership instead he bought Twitter. Uh, and she thank you, what the hell kinds of Sims build house is this thing? I I don't know. Look at this. 23 neck path, because you're going to neck yourself on the path walking up to this shit. Oh my god. Oh, the shit. It doesn't actually look bad on the inside. Wait, it doesn't It doesn't actually look bad on the inside. I. This is like Power World base? The outside is like... What the fuck? You'd put your, like, your crafting tables and stuff here? And then this is where you would put all your stuff that you actually live in? And Pearl Saxon, thank you. I'm here because to chill from politics. Hell yeah. I'm a point dreamer, thank you. Glad to be a part of the member welfare program. Thank you. Uh, Meowsers, thank you. Bippy, cute cat. That's a playpen? This is a playpen. It does, like, this does look nice from the inside, but it looks so stupid from the outside. Sketch therapy, thank you. How dare Power World steal what Pokemon took from Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest looking for a Pokemon, like, go ahead, Sue, set a precedent for me. <laughs> How much is this shed with a porch? Two million dollars. Two million dollars for this chat. <laughs> ah, sniffles. Ah, I should have taken allergy pills! This is what a two million dollar kitchen looks like? That's a two million dollar stove? That's a two million dollar dust collector? Dust collecting surface? Two million dollar shower? It's not even it's not even an overhead shower. It's not even an overhead rain shower. Didn't think you first impression of outside glorified hobo shack, yeah. This is a two million dollar bed? With like Fucking RV camper style windows? Brother in Christ, can you not afford better windows? Emiko sold account, thank you. I'm gonna be real over the title is House Haunting has never been worse and expected a horror show horror stories, not weird houses. Richard Cullen, thank you. First time catching you live, happy to be here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, two million dollar deer plush. Two million dollar paddle fin. It only has three. Mine has one, two, three, four, five. My paddle fin has five, chat. Chat, my paddle fan has five paddles. And it didn't even cost $20. Russell, thank you. Imagine paying $2 million to live in New York. I sure as hell can't. God bless Texas. $2 million seashell frame for your mirror in a house that is cabin in the woods theme? Jesus Christ. This is, this is where you would hide the body. You would just, you would put like a tub here so it's not too suspicious and then you'd put the body right here. Here's the laundry. Wait, what is this fucking perspective? Oh God, oh God, this looks like when you look, oh Chad, this is like an optical illusion. When you look at it like in a certain way, it looks like it's like top down. You go Andre, thank you. As an engineer working architecture, this house is ugly and a nightmare to design while being dysfunctional. It's pretty bad. It's, it's pretty bad. That's a $2 million guitar that doesn't even come with the house. Look at this dust collector. Greg, thank you. It was put on pills that make it hard to sleep. Your streams and bots have really helped me with the lack of sleep. Thanks, Pippa, you're the best. Hell yeah! I hope you get some good sleep. Hell yeah! I got a stiffle. Ah! Ah! 
Why are the walls just bare wood? I think the bare wood looks nice, but also, like... Chad, this is a really fucked up looking house. This is a really fucked up looking house. I would pay like $80,000 for this. I... If you showed me this, I'd be like, best I can do is 80,000. How much would you guys pay? Eclipse Nova, thank you. Would Waifu you want to cosplay one day? Ah. If I could cosplay a waifu. Like for for an official outfit? Um No, oh, I'm not sure. I'd have to think on that one. Oh Bandai, thank you! They must have made living constructing public park jungle gyms. True. Uh Mr. Yer, thank you. G Bot House. Sixty-five thousand, seven dollars, three dollars and fifty cents. What kind of garage was that? It's not really a garage. It's just a it's just a patio. It's a patio you can park underneath. How many acres? Good question. Maybe you're paying for the acreage? It's only one acre. It is only one acre! Bonus loft area! My brother in Christ, the entire house is a loft. It's nothing but a collection of shelves at awkward angles. Buddy, come on. The Antler House. Who the fuck is Andrew Geller? Fully restored luxury beach house. Greetings, square ones. Let's take a journey. That's a fucking marsh, dude! What do you mean, beach house? You're on a floodplain! This is a marsh! The water's gonna like rise and you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting, you're gonna be sitting right here, and you're gonna be the fish! You're gonna be the entertainment for the fish! You fool! Oh my god! This is horrible. This is horrible. Beach house? Fuck off. I didn't bother thank you. That house is protected from the wind by a lot of trees. Smart because that would topple easily. It's a bleach if you believe hard enough. Oh god. I'm angry to my teammates in the finals were garbo. I'm sorry, monkey. Auntie Cannon, thank you. Hey, old Pepper, can't stay to watch the stream, but here's some cash. Also, did you hear about the Ram Ranch guy? Yeah, he's like molesting his nephew, allegedly. Uncle Lang, thank you. You can get nine bedroom plus four horse stable plus reservoir on five acres for half as much in Australia. Do they have houses in Australia? I just assume they lived in like little bungalows. I assume that they like compiled sticks and branches and they like they they lean them against rocks and they would hide inside and they would light fires around the outside, the perimeter, to keep the fucking dingoes at bay. Channel Fox, thank you. Pips, we all know you crawled out of that swamp. Fuck you. Uh, Lupus Emery said, you, congrats on the 300k. The Pakistan's population is growing steadily and soon we'll be able to conquer, conquer Wyoming. So why would we go there? Good point. Space Guy Ride, thank you. Uh, 2030 Finley East Road, Lakeport, California Road. Ominous. Shadow Fox, thank you. I already read that. The Dynamic Noodle, thank you. Imagine spending two mil on that. Looks like Pippa built it. Don't super chat me addresses because I feel like I'm going to look it up and it's going to be like... Somebody's house. Director, I think you, I'm confused. There's a place that... I'm confused. There doesn't seem to be much privacy or security in this place. The neighbors are just a few trees away. They are. Australia has houses, but all the spiders moved in. That makes sense. Odds are pretty good. Yeah, odds are pretty good. Zillow, someone's house, you think? Don't use the fucking meme arrows at me, witch. Voxart Palace, thank you. Two million is a steal for a house in Canada? Objectively, can't thank you. I see you found Sakuna's human tank. True. True. How's the basement? I don't think there was a basement. Um. Affectionately coined the architect of happiness! By. By who? By who? By who? By who? Who's calling him that? Who's calling him that? Yeah, Holmstuff. Holmstuff. Yeah, self-appointed. By his publicist. By content creators eager to make content out of his tomfoolery. Yeah, it doesn't look like happiness. It does not look like happiness. It looks like a glitched house in The Sims. Like, you need to fucking restart your graphics drivers looking at this shit. Holy. Um... 
Okay, some of the common exaltations of Geller's work include whimsical, breathtaking, playful, breezy, joyful, original, and dream houses. For who? The fishes on the floodplain? When the water rises and the fishes get to see the humans and the tables turn? Buddy, come on. Um, every one of his helms was a portrait with unique form, emphasis on context, and a Bauhaus-inspired signature style that transformed domestic space into abstract sculptural art. Buddy, I just want something to fucking live in. Yeah, Fish Fins wrote this. Today, more than ever, Geller's work is coming into full appreciation, and no house has been more at the forefront of this awakening than the Antler House. Designed and built in 1968, the Antler House is perhaps the most inventive and playful of all of Geller's beach houses. The heart of the home is the expansive great room with cedar-paneled cathedral ceilings, walls of glass, and an open floor plan. Buddy. This guy was born in 1924. This is some jank-ass house that a guy with no, with no experience in architectural design. This guy, this guy built this shit, right? And then he died. And some fucking artsy fartsy motherfucker con artist type came along and was like, I can make good money off of this. This dumb fuck, this dumb fuck couldn't build for shit. And now I'm gonna capitalize on it and I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it as a brand. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Bigger, said Geller, is not always better, ellipses. The indigenous landscape provides a womb around the home and was carefully designed to protect as well as celebrate the natural beauty of the Hamptons. The iconic owl-eye windows are placed up high to mimic the trees and woodland creatures as well as to frame and capture the majesty of the rising and setting sun. You can't see the sun! There's trees! There's trees! You can't see the tree! You can't see the beach! It's not a beach house! You can't get a view of the tree of the fucking sun! There's trees! It's surrounded in trees! Owls don't have three eyes, but there's three windows here! You're dumb! You're dumb as hell! Oh my god. Fucking owl from Chernobyl! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Fuck off. Just fuck off. You can't see the setting sun. You can't see shit. You can see some trees and an over-tended to lawn. There is no landscaping here at all. Holy shit. This house looks like it was assembled with leftover Legos. Never want pizza, thank you. Buddy, this is a homeless thing, not an English class. A hundred words or less. True. And Lombardo, thank you. I just realized my vastly cheaper house has more indoor space than this. You go under thank you. If anyone gave me the plans to design this claiming it is a beach house, I would tell them they are my least favorite darn. Oh my god. Dead ass looks like a playground. It does. <laughs> this is embarrassing. This is fucking embarrassing. Oh god. Yeah, the Legos nobody uses. Oh god, it's like you have a sibling, you're like, hey, can I play with your Legos? And they push over the pile that they don't touch. They have a separate container, they have a separate plastic tub for all the pieces that they never use and they think are dog shit, and they slide them over to you and you're like, what can I make out of this? Alto, thank you. We gotta know, is your Papunisher comic official and where do we buy? It is not. Kalei, tell me, thank you, I wanna look up the other Geller houses. Are they on Zillow? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna diverge from Zillow for a moment. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Andrew Geller. Was that his name? Yeah, this is his name. He's not even the first result when you look up Andrew Geller. He's not even the first result. What happened? Buddy, this is such a this is such a scam. This is such a scam chat. Oh my god. This is literally a scam. 
This is literally a scam. Known as the architect of happiness, mid-century architect Andrew Geller built a reputation for his whimsical approach to design. What reputation? What reputation? I'll tell you, thank you. You probably answered this question before, but what's your dream home? My, my absolute dream home? Now? Two plus years into being a VTuber in a in a VTuber company, my dream home is somewhere that has plenty of land, but is also like very central to a bunch of other company members. So I could do like a bunch of off collabs and stuff. And I'd like to have like like backup housing and stuff. If I could, if I was like a millionaire chat, I would like unironically want like a compound that's like close to everybody else in phase connect and i could have like little backup houses and stuff so if people are like hey i need a place to crash for a while people could literally just like live like on my property right but still have like their own little space to like stream from and stuff i would love something like that my old my old dream was middle of nowhere alaska with its floor to ceiling windows and geometric a phase ranch i don't know if you guys are familiar with ranches but that is like a thing um a lot of like ranch property and maybe not a lot but a, some ranches um they have like secondary housing and stuff like that or like lofts above barns and stuff so uh ranch hands can live there and that's like a thing if you're if you're in like a bad situation or whatever chat and you're 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 looking for like work opportunity that's something you can do you can look up like local ranches and stuff slave you're not a slave you're like an indentured servant <laughs> basically like you don't get paid but you don't have to pay to live there you just have to you just have to take care of the ranch to some extent just he's not saying you're get the bees and for those excellent like you pays ranch stock and invest now Sometimes like you, your compound would just be way up for streamers, true. It's hard work though, it's not for everyone. Yeah, it is hard work. It is definitely not for everybody. Don't some get paid? You might get paid. Um, that, that very much like depends on who you're working for. One Doom Space Marine, thank you. 18 VTubers in the cabins at Faye's Ranch. Arclight, thank you. Donuts for the ranch. <laughs> Wait, goes for VTubers specifically. see the paneled cathedral ceilings. Walls of glass down. and an open floor plan. Yeah, sell me the shit box. Sell me, yeah, sell me the bootleg Lincoln Log House. Which frame and capture the sunrise, sunset, and idyllic forest views makes the home a perfect place for entertaining. The oh my god. is uniquely positioned on a woodsy 1.1 acre just minutes wow. from East Hamptons Beach. Fusing its identity just minutes the from the beach. beach with the comfort of a forest. You know, I'm also beach. minutes from the beach. Would you buy this house Over 60 minutes, but still. Zirconium, thank you. Pippa Zambigor. Trigger point, thank you. The branch Papadians. God. There's nothing else that comes up for this guy. When you go on YouTube and you search his name, nothing else comes up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Andrew Geller House? Frank Lloyd Wright House, that's a different guy, but history of the Pearl Roth House. Is this a... Is this part of a series? Is this part of like a series or something? Well, no, thank you. Literally of mice and men. Uh, Ken Noise Heck, thank you. The middle of nowhere Alaska has already been tried. Pippa, numbskull who tried it, died alone in a shitty bus. Okay, not quite that extreme. Ash Kajoni, thank you. Phase Ranch, finally start that garden. The house is now in danger of being torn down. Is it because it's ugly as sin? Two diamonds that were standing on end like that. And it was so inexpensive. Show me the house. Person referred to it as a square brazier. What are you... God is real? And he let, like, his little niece or something fucking play on the computer, sim style, to design these houses. Oh my god. Here, and I don't think this I is literally this is literally, literally just God fucking around back then but you know as children are yeah, they Laura have no Croft real critical house. judgment holy and shit everything just like went over my Madonna head house. I didn't pay any attention to it I, I loved especially seeing people who 
it would drive up and and think to themselves wow that's fucking terrible and they just had to live with it the fucking hoa they were pissed not my problem glad i sent you one for the pipkin island slow the car down come out take pictures and they were awed by it and they would say the dumbest shit i've ever seen you know, what is this thing yeah what um, if we rotated squares I, I, I'm so proud of it. Just, uh, I, I really am. And it's, it's amazing to see your house on the front page of the Southampton Press um, or on the front page of the New York Observer named one of the top 10 houses in the Hamptons. And that's not because it's, it's big and expensive. It's because there's some classic... It's fucking hilarious to look at. ...the house that uh, makes it so special. Buddy. But oh, hold we, on, they're gonna show more so pictures. We had so much pleasure out of it. We were, we were gutsy. We didn't know what we were getting. We had no idea what we were getting. We just l fell in love with, oh my God. with what Andrew Gilla did uh, in, in Watermill. Listen, chat, I love, I love really quirky houses, right? Like, really fucked up looking houses, chat, are wonderful. Okay, I like like poorly designed rooms that are really silly. I like like overly tall, like when, when houses have like the little towers and shit that are not very realistic, but are, are just delightful and make like a weird uncomfortable hexagon shape within the actual living space of the house that you're gonna have to like figure out how to fit furniture around, but it's very silly. Um, like, you can have, you can have like weird houses, right? That are fun, but these are just horrible. I think what makes it so horrible is the price tag, right? Like if you didn't, if you didn't try and sell this to me as some sort of like artsy bullshit, I would, I would probably, I would probably enjoy it a bit more. But also, it just looks impossible to live in. It looks fucking impossible to live in. It's because it's hipster. Better than the McMansions of now? I would rather a McMansion than the fucking Andrew Geller's houses. Yeah, the whore is in the price tag. It sold for two million. Yeah, this house, which is more of an Oreo thin than an actual house, sold for 2.2 million. Chat, have you ever looked at a house and said, I don't want a house. I want a shoebox sitting on its side, vertically. Boy, I have the home for you. I have the home for you. Five bedrooms, three baths. I, I don't know how you could count five bedrooms in this fucking house, but we're gonna find out. Box artificial is thank you. If you want a real abomination of a building, look up the Ontario College of Art and Design. Everything so far looks good by comparison. Now paint it pink. Stuart Little House. How deep? I don't know. Look at it. Look at this shit. It's so fucking thin. I like the little flowers painted on the side of the dull gray lifeless house beside it though. Very based. Very based. I think this is based. I think I think houses should be cool on the outside. I don't understand the obsession with making every house look the same on the outside. I think it's very cringe. I think it's very embarrassing. Same thing with like overly, overly manicured lawns. I think those are incredibly boring. Fun to play on as a child, but incredibly boring. Infernal Saxon, thank you. Personally a fan of dome and center garage houses. Blame HOAs. I feel like HOAs seek to strip the individuality of the people living there. I unironically believe HOAs, part of what they their goal is, is to demoralize the people living there. So that way they won't leave and they'll just get complacent. That's what I genuinely think. <laughs> I I think HOAs are on some like dictator shit. Unironically. This is cute. Little letter letter thing. This is pretty cute inside. A little bit too um Pinterest for my taste, but this is like I don't think this is bad. I love these little details like this. This is very soulful. Very soulful little little carving into the wall here. 
Yeah, home goods tier decor. Yeah. It kind of feels like I walked into Target. But that's okay. That's okay. It's not for me, but I don't hate this. This is not an abomination. I, I like the little, like, window box here. It's pretty cute. We call that crowned walls. Ah. I like this. There's some really nice little, like, ornate details here. Have you ever been to an Ikea? I have not. I have not. I have ordered stuff from Ikea online, but I've never actually been to Ikea. It's livable, but two mil. Yeah, not worth two million dollars. Very nice. But extremely cramped. Holy shit. Wait, look. Holy shit. How thin is this fucking sink? No, 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 no. Show me the si Holy shit, chat. That's not even a sink. Chat, that's a lasagna tray. That's not a sink. You put lasagna in there. Emma, thank you for becoming a big pee, -pee. What the fuck? <laughs> that sink is sideways. Hello? Hello? Basically a ba basin. Oh my god. Okay, kind of a dead looking kitchen with no fridge. Oh, there's the fridge. Two million dollars and this is the fridge you have? Your house is worth two million dollars and you go with this fridge? That looks like it was like 20% off at, at early 2000s Walmart? <laughs> Do they even sell fridges like this anymore? What the hell? Yeah, weak fridge. Weak ass fridge. Jesus Christ. This is the quirked up white girl house on methadone? What? What? They still do? Huh. Huh. Okay. Um. It's not. It's not. Holy shit. Everything is so thin, chat. Everything is so thin and long. Hayden, thank you for the $20. All society is trying to demoralize people now. Look at what they did to McDonald's. Where is the architecture from the Renaissance? A rebel against your HOA. Down with mediocrity. Modern art sucks too. Sorry, gotta say. McDonald's is bringing some soul back. With their, with their McCafe. This is cute. I like this. It looks dirty though. Box art for Jealous. Thank you. First, Renee says she doesn't know who MatPat is. Now, Pippa says she's never been to Ikea. I feel like a normie by comparison. Right, great, thank you, Stephen Ortiz, thank you. This was an old army vet that fought the HOA so he could continue the rise old glory every day in one. The rise old glory every day in one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a weird doorknob. That's a that's a weird doorknob. This is cute. I love this. I love I love the detailing. I love the I love the detailing. But it's just a very slim house. I'm amazed that this fits five bedrooms. It's very cramped. I, this is not my personal style. I would not enjoy this. Look at this very iconic style bathtub. Holy shit. This is so, this is so amazing. Look at this claw footed tub with the fucking, with the fucking rim connected to the shower head, connected to the ceiling. Hell yeah. That's some cheapest tub available on the Sims tier content right there. Wait, there's two kitchens? What the hell? You fit two kitchens in this tiny ass house? What? And there's a backyard? What the fuck? What? Holy shit, chat. Holy shit. Wait, it's actually got a pretty big backyard. What the hell? This is very interesting. This is very interesting. If I was a millionaire, would I buy this? No. Fuck no. God no. No. I don't want to live in an Oreo thin. It is a blueberry flavored Oreo thin. But I, I prefer lemon. Would I live in it if I inherited it? Right? Like, if if I if I had like a mysterious like unknown grandma that was like and to and to Pipkin Pippa, I leave. Yes. This would I live in it? Yeah. 
Yeah, Why I'd live in it. In this At least for a while, right? Yep, so make sure to subscribe. I'd sell it. I'd probably sell it too eventually. But I, I hate, I hate when the videos talk at the end. Stop it. Ah, I false grade by accident. I hate it when the videos talk at the end. I don't, I don't like that. Um, how do I skip? Skip. There we go. Um, yeah, the BDM just fucking died. Very long house. I, it's just, it's just not really worth like two million dollars. I think it'd be fun to live in for like a couple years, right? I think for, yeah, sell for four million in a couple years. I think for, for a couple years, it'd be pretty fun to live in just for like, like you're in San Francisco, right? San Francisco is pretty neat, full of homeless people and human feces, but they're cleaning it up. They're cleaning it up. San Francisco is getting cleaned up. In your faces, thank you. East St. Louis housing is best overall, plus zero HOA. They're they're working on San Francisco a little bit. Nimbus, thank you. Um, is it? Yeah, they're they're working on it. It's not cleaned up, but they're cleaning it up. It's not cleaned up. It's they they're they're working on it. They're working on it. Um, I think it'd be fine for like a couple years, and then I'd fuck off somewhere else. It's pretty neat. It's a it's a pretty neat little house. It is insanely expensive a month. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Not only no, but hell no. All right, next one. Okay, this one's also in San Francisco and I wasn't really interested in the house. I just wanted to show you that this is the default picture that shows up. These people are advertising this $600,000 house. It's not even in house. It's a it's an apartment. And this is the this is the picture that it defaults to. Not a picture of the house chat. But a sad looking Shizu in a sink. Yeah, the dog is 600,000. Panka banka spanka banka, thank you. San Francisco's a fixer upper. It is. It is. <laughs> Jaya, thank you. Clean or not, San Francisco's laws are worse. I I don't know anything about San Francisco's actual laws. Yeah, six hundred thousand dollars to live in a fucking apartment in San Francisco. Holy bagel. Fire. I'm saying holy price tag. And it's just a very generic apartment with a cute restaurant nearby. I don't know how the dog fits into the equation at all. Like the this sink is not in the house. They, they they do not have one of these sinks in the house. They're like <laughs> what, what is this? This guy, thank you. Aren't you a millionaire? Can't you afford a mansion? I am so far from being a millionaire. I would love to be a millionaire. I would love to have the FaZe Ranch. But that's, that's, that's not happening anytime soon. This one is four bedrooms and seven bathrooms. We're traveling back to 2009. <laughs> it's 2.3 million dollars. And it's a fucking castle. Now this, now this I would live in, full time, right? This, yeah, castle north side, I want to be in my house. And I want like the fucking the food delivery guy to call me on the phone and be like, is this your house? Or he'd be like, he'd be like, okay, uh, I'm driving by, but all I could find is a fucking English antiquities museum. And I'd be like, no, 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 no. That English Antiquities Museum is actually a really fucking cool person museum. Because there's on display me. Alright? Now pull up, drop my food in front of the moat. Don't cross. The alligators don't like strangers. They'll crawl up and they'll fucking bite you. That's what I'd say. That's what I'd fucking say. I'd say, drop my Chinese food on Castle Northside. Alright? I come forth from my high chamber tower. Alright? And I, I, I send unto thee my, 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 my hound. All right? He, 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 her not. I don't know. I'd have to study up on how to speak fancy. But like, that's what I'd say. Like something around like that. But I'd use, I'd be like very articulate. And I'd, I'd use like a lot of like fancy words. Anyways. Can, can these songs stop having like stuff playing at the end of them? There we go. Okay. Yeah, such words. Very cool, Pips. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Prepare the trebuchet! I would say. 
And then they'd have to like put the food into a trebuchet and they'd shoot it up to me. This is Castle West Side, where I'd hold my grills, right? I'd hold like grilling party. I would invite the neighbors over. I don't even fucking like neighbors, all right? I don't like parties, but I would be, I would have like a little grill out here and I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be sending out. Okay, first of all, I'd get like authentic, like parchment paper, right? Like from Barnes and Nobles for $15 for a rung, right? Of like that, that pressed parchment that the, the poor kids make in South Africa and then Barnes and Nobles distributes to like middle class coffee drinkers, okay? And I would, I would get that and I would write in ink and quill, all right? And I would fold that over, all right? I'd fold that over into three delicate rectangles. And I would, uh, I would encase it in an envelope that has been weathered carefully by some 40 year old man on Etsy that LARPs every single day. That's just his job as professional LARPer. And I would get some wax and I would, I would heat some wax and pour it over the top. And then I'd buy a stamp press off of Amazon that has my initials on it because I don't know where you would get those from anywhere else. And I would, I would press into it my initials and I would, I would, I would diligently mail off these these invitations to my neighbors to come fucking grill oh god it'd be so based oh it'd be so based seals also etsy okay hell yeah hell yeah you need a ring stamp oh man it would be it would, it would be so great and i'd say come gather high noon just for tea time we shall cook a a a a a a a a a a what's like a hold on um I need, I, I'd go to ChatGPT and I'd, I'd write up the letter and I'd ask ChatGPT to like write it fancy for me. And, and, and then, and then I wouldn't have to put in so much work. And I'd be like, come gather Castle West Side! And then I'd, I'd come from this balcony up here. Everybody would be standing down here. I'd put like chairs down here and I would like chain this off to start with, right? And I'd be standing up here and I'd come out these, these doors and I'd be like, greetings! Good evening! Welcome to Castle Pippa! I am the Viscount! And I would use Viscount because it's a really cool title and because like the lesser folk that don't know good much, they would be like, Viscount Pippa. And I'd be like, no, 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 no. You simpleton, it's Viscount. Viscount Pippa, all right? Yeah, you wouldn't know, would you? All right, so I'd walk out and be like, I'm Viscount Pippa! Welcome to my domain! Unchain the gates and come forth to my grill party. Yeah, and it'd be a masquerade because those are cool. Like, like cool, like Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, okay, anyways. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I forgot big pee pee. Or thank you for the big pee pee. <laughs> Not by Countess. That doesn't sound as imposing. Viscount is actually a pretty low title, but like they don't know how to pronounce it, so it's based. Arclight, thank you. <laughs> I like stories. <laughs> Black Sound of Michelle, thank you. Don't doesn't hold a candle to the soul of the Edmonton Castle House. Basically, a dentist took his ordinary suburban home and built a castle on top of the garage. It's just as ridiculous looking as it sounds. That sounds so based. Yeah, Carl, your mother was a hamster and your father smelled the mildewberries. I would be standing. Okay, okay, and then. And then I would go forth to Castle East Side, and some of the party goers would go through the dungeons out to here because I would put like a hot tub here, or this is where they would park. It looks like this is where parking is. So they would park on Castle East Side. And as the party was about to end, I would go through the grand doors of the Grand Hall Center A B from Castle West Side to Castle East Side, and I would emerge, and I would throw up in my cape, and I would say. I would, I, w I would say, who goes there? And if they responded in kind with the Monty Python skit, I'd give them a $50 gift card to Walmart. Hell yeah. Actually, we're on the East Coast. I'd give them a $50 gift card to White Castle. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Anyways, that's just awesome. Thank you. So you would reenact the Vincent Price horror film. Got it. Hell yeah. No one would attend. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, White Castle, now we're talking. Look at this fucking house, Jet. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's kind of nice inside. It is really nice inside. Yes, yeah, sliders for all. <laughs> oh, 
my god, I ain't cleaning that house. I ain't cleaning this shit either. Holy. Oh my god. I would like, I would have like an air purifier in every room and I would have like, I would have like a bunch of like dog gates up. I'd be like, don't go in there. You'll leave footprints in the dust and then I'll actually have to clean. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is wonderful, Chad. I want to live here. This is, now this is like my personal, oh my, oh my god. Literally impenetrable, chat! Impenetrable! Oh my god! This would be my room, and if there was like a home intruder, I'd run up these stairs, right? And I would close this, and I would, I, I would pull forth. I would pull forth the, the, the Acme 1000 pound... Wait, anvil? Whatever they are. Oh yeah. What is it? Mirrored hallway? Oh my god. I'd, I'd drug up a homeless person and send them into the hallway. Kitchen? This is pretty neat. Not quite as stylish as I would like it, but you know. <laughs> not, not, not quite stylish. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> suit of armor, yeah. I hope the suit of armor comes with the house. There's a fireplace here. A, 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 a sealed American flag. That's neat. Um, a medieval torture chamber with a with a with a fainting couch. Wonderful. Oh yes, and it folds down. So after the drugged up homeless person bloodies their face slamming into the mirrors because I gave them crocodile. After they are they're passed out, I would lay them atop this table. And I would I would chain them down. There's nothing really to chain them to. Never mind, I would not chain them down because they do not need to. And I my my tools would hang from these hooks and I would I would perform I would perform Dr. Moreau-esque experiments on them. And then when they awaken and they say, they say, because I infused their vocal cord, uh, their trachea with that of a crow's, I would, I would faint onto the couch and they would, they would, they would be like, <gasps> and then they would, they would gaze upon themselves on the mirror that's just out of frame on the left hand side. And they'd be like, oh, no, 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 <laughs> but like a crow noise because they're part crow now. Oh yeah. And then when we were done, I'd fold it all up and nobody would ever know. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is pretty sick. <laughs> this is pretty sick. Look at this chandelier. Holy shit, I love chandeliers. Chandeliers are so base. Oh my god, the party goers, they would gather in the foyer. I don't know if I'm using that word correctly, but they'd gather in the foyer. And I would, I would walk down here with my Phantom of the Opera mask. And I'd be like, I see you're all gathered here. To my party? Without inviting me? And they'd be like, but you invited us. And I'd be like, but no, that, that is, you do not understand. I had a, a, a shadow address down the road. I was the, I was the mysterious old hag in the shack down the road. And nobody gave the invitation to the old hag. It was my split identity. And now, I... Don Juan Triumphant! All right, and I take off my mask. Shall bring hell upon thee from the heavens. And I would bring up like the, I would bring up like the Ashley Madison database and I'd start listing off their names. Yeah. Look at this cheery little cherub or something. I don't know what this is. Congrats on 300k, thank you. Is that thing coming? Yeah, this is beautiful. I would love this. <laughs> I would love this chat. This is where my crocodiles would go. Oh god. Oh god, this is so good. Why should I be yelling at you? Tuny Pippa, shut up! Oh, yeah, I'd be scrolling through the fucking Epstein flight logs on my phone, the PDF. I'd be like, hmm, this PDF shall reveal which one of us is a PDF file. <laughs> It'd be troubling. Bingo, bingo, tango, bingo, thank you. PC girls and a whodunit at the P Princess's Manor. And noise hack, thank you. Pipkin Pippa, the Elizabeth ba Bathory of b -tubing. I'm getting SAO abridged vibes. These are all just duplicate photos. 
Anyways, this house is amazing. I would buy this in a heartbeat if I had $2.3 million and it was on the market. Oh, thank you. But what if somebody sieges your castle? Then I would send forth the hounds and the alligators. I would hire the local peasantry to, to take up arms to defend me. And in exchange, I'd give them a pittance of beans. Oh, yeah. This property is not currently for sale or for rent on Zillow. The description of the property may be provided by a third party or homeowner or public records. Man. Oh my god. Okay, let's read this. FC Play, there's thank you. And to top all this off, you can have your own live, live band performing ye old Minecraft parodies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. Do you enjoy the simpler times of yesteryear? Or do you just want a unique home unlike any other? Then this is the home for you! This home was built in 1991, designed after the 16th century castles found along the Rhine River of Europe. But with the engineering and modern conveniences of the 90th... Convinces, con convinces of the 20th century, complete with a moat drawbridge and functioning porticulous gates. Oh my god, the Rhine River? I would change my name, I'd be Rhine Daughter River. That would be my new name. That would be my new name. Fuck. That name goes hard. Yeah, and I would have like a, I'd have like a sign out front, right? That says like the rabbit of the ride. Right, or the rabbit, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. I would, I would hire a ghost writer to forge a tale for me as if, as if this was a, a a 16th century actual castle and I am the protagonist and also it is an isekai and also I have magic powers and also I can I can uh, I can fly anyways uh, the original owner has invested in excess of 10 million in building of this modern day fortress the home has fallen in slight disrepair but all the structural components remain intact and await the right buyer to make it their own the castle has four bedrooms, five full bathrooms, two half bathrooms. Ele elevator? <laughs> elevator? Excuse me? Excuse me? Big little mouse, thank you. How do Yabbit catch it up on boss because my new friends hate me and won't let me leave? Pee 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 pee. Oh. What the hell? An elevator? What? Probably using construction? Yeah, the ye old elevator. Yeah, slight disrepair with an elevator. Ooh, ominous. Great room, formal dining room, bar, and entertainment room, private office, game room, dungeon! Four fireplaces, four stall car garage designed after Bavarian village, out garage with additional four car storage, many secret escape rooms, secret hallways, secret stairways, and always. Oh god, I need this. Seven acres, I could have a horse. Oh my god. Walk score is zero out of a hundred, car dependent. Buddy, I would just pay people to live on my property and sell me stuff. Buddy, I would have like a whole, I would have like a whole fucking like kingdom going on here. Yeah, no castle is complete without a dungeon. Let's fund it. Chad, I'm gonna need about 2.3 million dollars. If you could get that to me sooner rather than later, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. This is in Gary, Indiana. Two beds, one bath, $19,000. Yeah. A good starter home, a bit of a fixer-upper. Uh, probably close to a college, if I had to guess. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I'd say. Yeah. Small loan of $2 million. Oh, shit. Is this a yard? Is this a yard? Does it come with a stash of drugs? Can I pull off one of these boards and there's just a massive stash of methamphetamine? Fried rice, thank you. Castle fun. Home. Now this is this is a house you could call a home, chat. This is a house you could call a home. Awesome investor! Friendly townhome. What would you need to invest in? It looks pretty complete to me. It's got floors, a roof, door. With the right vision, the home can produce awesome rental rates and a return on investment. Hold on. Let's see the other houses. This is a sandwich between. I don't... 
I don't know if this is really a buyer-friendly neighborhood. I don't know if the people are really looking to live here. Um, in Crack Shack, Indiana. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what the rest of the housing market looks like. But I'm gonna say, um, if it's close to a college, it'll do. Caramel the rabbit person. Thank you, Pippa. If one does choose to procure thyself living quarters for thy companions, one must also have us build thy castle in the center. True. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Oh, got my nose. Ah, simple, 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 simple. From crack house to crack home. Schedule your appointment today. Home is being sold as is. Yeah. As is. Is there anything to as? What do you mean as is? What do you mean home sold as is? What home? What home? There is no is to as! Bobby Gregory, thank you. Are any of these houses suitable for a massive Briar Horse collection? Not this one, you'd get robbed. But thank you, donation to make Pippa a slumlord fund. Jesus Christ. All right, $19,000 in, guess what? Gary, Indiana. I'm noticing a trend. Three bedrooms, one bath. A nice little, um, haunted horror home in the woods for a, for a great price, honestly. I mean, to get the Wicked Witch of the Woods for only $20,000, if you play your cards right, all right, I've played some visual novels. If you, if you play your cards right, if you gift her every day at midnight, dead rats, you might just get a smooch from her. And all you have to do is a $20,000 investment, stand down here, draw a pentagram and goat's blood, and uh, light some candles. Yeah. I think that's a, I think that's great. I think you should go for it, chat. I think I think Chat, would you go up these stairs? <laughs> chat, would you go up these stairs? You're really selling this for me, yeah. <laughs> cool red walls, yeah. Only slightly stained with the blood of the trespassers who who sought shelter from the fucking storm. Not but 10 years ago. Look at how their blood flakes and crackles. No thanks. Natural sunlight. Yeah, natural sunlight. <laughs> natural sunlight from the rat holes. That's why you have to kill the rats and give them to her. That's her, that's her love gift. That's her highest gift. The bathroom could use a little bit of a renovation. But isn't that what everybody always says about their bathroom? Is... is it needs renovation? Pyromaniac, thank you. How much is Bestos? Do I gotta inhale before I start seeing her in my periphery and dark corners of rooms? <laughs> oh, oh man, this room is so cute. It's purple with like a blue carpet. Great for children. Nanny Fresh, thank you. Can I choose where the smooch goes? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. This would be perfect for a nursery. You put the crib right here, get the lovely, like, sunlight and stuff, you know? Maybe put it over here. You get the fresh air from the holes in the wall. This is, this is beautiful. This is really, this is really a house to raise a family in, chat. This is a house for a family. Here, thank you. How much copper do you think is left in the walls? None. Dear, thank you. Great. Comes with free parkour course. <laughs> Yeah, a ghost family. A family to... Anyway, five years will pass and then the ghost will awaken and she'll say... Five years I've waited. Five years now. I claim what I, you have taken from me. Right, and the ghost confuses you for the man that killed her. And then she slaughters you. Duncan Templeton, thank you. Nicest house in Gary, Indiana. True. Eddie Lombardo, thank you. Just squat in this house and live there for free. 9 out of 10, drug dead, needs more decay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sorry, I was getting text message from my mother. 19,000, I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances. Is she hot though? She's, she's like at least an eight. 
Don't worry, chat. I know some of you were concerned. Is there a functional bathroom inside of the house where I can watch the ghost take ghost shits? Yes. Hi, Mama Kid. Oh my god. There is. There is a there is <laughs> there is a bathroom with two holes cut out for 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 watching people take shits. Congratulations. Oh, comes with a lot of greenery. An upstairs garden, perhaps one might say. Skyrocket, thank you. At least it's not Ohio, just Ohio adjacent. Might as well be Ohio. Jesus Christ. Wow. I'm gonna say this house has perhaps seen better days. I'm gonna say this one has perhaps seen better days, but I don't know. What does the real estate agent have to say about it? Call us a fireplace? Do you mean the house? You mean the house is a cozy fireplace? Like I can set it on fire and sit on the fucking uh, like tree stump I just cut down? To fucking demolish it just to make sure? Right? You fucking cut down one of these trees, right? Just to really like flatten it to make sure it all burns evenly and then you sit down on the stump and you, you watch it kindle. Is that what you mean, cozy fireplace? Is that what you mean? Like fucking fireplace, bro? One of the dozen whole- Oh, there you go. What a cozy fireplace. I bet the chimney's not caved in at all. Jesus fucking Christ. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Cozy fireplace. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Discover the diamond in the rope you've been waiting for! Buddy! What oh, diamonds? What diamonds? This is when you go to Goodwill, Chad. This is when you go to the thrift store, the pawn shop, and they're selling fucking cubic zirconium, right? They're selling, they're selling fake diamonds for the price of real ones. And it's battered and scratched up and it's got coffee stains and it's chipped on the sides. And they're like, it's a, it's a real diamond in the rough. Buddy, the metal that it is resting on, the metal that encases the ring is worth more than the rock. The land is worth more than the abode. 6,700 square foot lot? Holy fuck. This three bedroom, one bathroom, two story fixer upper! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, Leatherface lives here. Holy shit. Is it presents an incredible opportunity for those with a vision for transformation. Buddy. Nestled on a spacious lot, boasting a large yard and a cozy fireplace. This property is ready for a major renovation to unlock its true potential. Potential. No. Built in 1915. Holy shit. What do you mean sold for $500? What do you mean sold for $500? <laughs> what do you mean sold for $500? Holy shit. Great deal. That's a steal. Oh my God. $95 a month. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, it'll take twenty thousand dollars to demolish the fucking house. You pay more for the taxes than the house. Oh my god. <laughs> Chat, you can't actually renovate this, can you? Am I crazy? You cannot you cannot actually renovate this, can you? I feel like this is just so destroyed fundamentally that there's it's it's just not possible. There I, I I don't I don't see how it would be possible. You gotta condemn it. It's possible. Can't save it. Yes, but it'd be a lot of work. Demo and start anew. I've seen people renovate worse. What do you mean renovate worse? How does it get worse? Oh my god. If this if this was mine, chat. 
If I lived, if I lived like anywhere near this, I would buy it just so I could like rent it out to like ghost hunting channels. I would come up with like a fucked up story about this place. And I would, I would sell it to like ghost hunting channels to like come and investigate. That is the only thing I can think of. That is the only thing I can think of. And then I would use like the area, the property around it for shit. Well, oh, Papa Oni, thank you! A friend bought a house like this, we filmed a horror movie in it! Gave it to the fire department who burned it down and he sold the land. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Depends on the zoning and building laws, but yeah, there's potential there. You don't need to, the last owners died here! Fox, thank you, hi, Pippa, I just got back from a long walk in the swamp where my friends discussed the founding principles of Western society. How's stream going? Pretty good. That's very stranger, thank you. Guys, there's free candy, I think it's worth a try! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Gary, Indiana. It's probably had a dozen murders in it already. No need to make up a story. True. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, getting a little bit expensive here. I know two million dollars wasn't too much for your your lot, you know? Two million dollars. Whoo! Pennies. Let's go up to about five million. 4.9 million dollars! My first impression is it is half rock climbing wall and it looks like shit. It looks like... It looks like it was a collaboration between four different Sims YouTube channels to build a house and they were like, alright, we're gonna make each part of the house look unique. And then we're gonna publish it on like the the Sims content store, whatever the fuck it is called. The 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 yeah. It looks AI generated. It looks AI generated. It looks AI generated by four different generation models. <laughs> oh my god. It is covered in bird shit. Hey, she thank you. Could I get a happy birthday, Mom was yesterday? And since we share a birthday, happy birthday to you too. Shut up! Happy birthday, Geezy! Happy happy birthday! It looks like a bird bath, the world's most fucked up bird bath. Yeah. These windows are cool. I really like these windows. But like Is this attached to like a fucking sidewalk? What is this? What 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 is what is this brick pathing that makes it look like you've taken a detour from a shopping mall? All right, right, thank you. Camara House Fund. Sideways, thank you. Why does chat have you guys seen those, like, those birds that spit up, like, mud and stuff to make their houses? That's what this looks like. Sideways, thank you. A group project where everyone works solo. Pretty much. Bahama, thank you. Looks like they tried for a modern medieval castle. Monkey, thank you. Request a tour for that house. Oh, I think I'm good. Wasp nest? Bird nest soup? Yeah, yeah. Swallows and mud daubers. A fucking mud dauber built this house, chat. A mud dauber built this house. Do not be fooled. They are trying to make their way into human society and we must not allow them. What the fuck? Why is it like this? Why is this like this? A fucking mud dauber. It's got like a little boathouse thing, which is cute. Son of God, thank you. Look up house on the rock. You'll thank me. Looks easy to draw. It looks fucked up. It looks fucked up. That's what it looks like. God, my allergies are acting up so bad. Is the boathouse included? Yes, I believe so. Uh, Manny Fresh, thank you. It looks like something a six-year-old would build as a birdhouse. True. Jesus Christ. It is a beautiful lake. River. Whatever this is. Zirconium, thank you. That's like a hole 14 on a good mini golf course. It's, it, like, it's very, it's very... Bro, it's melted. Holy shit, chat. You know on, like, a school playground? When they have, like, the black tar mat? And it, it kind of, like, bunches up on the edges? Right? You know when there's, like, you know when there's, like, the, the corner of the playground? Where the black tar mat ends and you have like the mixture of the black tar and like the pebbles and rocks and stuff and the dirt and it's like clumping and breaking 
Chat, this is literally what this is. This is the end of the playground. This is where dreams go to die. ETN feed, thank you. Location is amazing. Amazing location for a star fort. Nick, thank you. Is the Eve stream legit or just April Fool's joke that you're too committed to back out of? Uh, either way, it's legit, right? Looks like a child designed this house. Dreams are already dead when they started building. What is with this sultry ch cherub? Why is he laying like that? What is with this fucking house? You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I actually like the interior. I like the I like the interior. Look at this. Sassy. Looks like he's suffering. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking of Rose. Paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. Very pretty. Yeah, this is actually beautiful inside. I love. What is this like Greek? Greek inspired? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's it's beautiful on the inside. I love the gold accents. I love this little fireplace cover. I love the little plants. I love this massive couch that curves. If that floor isn't heated, shit's gonna be cold. Oh well, yeah. I love this adorable table. I do not like the little cherub statues. I'm not a fan of statues of people in general. They make me uncomfortable. If there's no face, it's fine, right? But if I have, like, the face of a person staring at me, I feel like the eyes are gonna move and I'm gonna die. This is beautiful, though. This is beautiful. I could- I could live in something like this. Okay, not these chairs. What the f- what, what is with these chairs? How do you have such a beautiful home and then you're like, you know what chairs I want? I want the leftovers from the Red Hat Society. Yeah. You know what I think I want? You know what? I'm gonna go for the thrift store chic. Hell yeah. I want, I, I want dead grandma chairs in my beautiful lakeside interior. Hell yeah. This is horrible. These chairs are horrible. It's so beautiful inside and then these fucking chairs come along. Literally the chairs my grandma owned. Horrible. The decoration is Baroque but the design is Art Deco. Ah. Yeah, they stole those from the local knitters club. Wow. These chairs are nice. I like the- I like the bar stools. Those are nice. God. Little TV up here? You can afford a bigger TV than that. Fucking five million dollar home. Fuck you. Manny Fresh, thank you. Don't judge a book by its cover house. Duncan Templeton, thank you. Those chairs are about to call me a handsome boy and ask me if I've eaten. <laughs> oh, look at these fucking useless cabinets, chat. <laughs> or cabinet dra drawers. They're drawers. Look at these useless drawers! Look at these stupid fucking drawers! You can't put anything in! Hell yeah! One, two, three, four, five drunk drawers! Five junk drawers to put little pe- Little, little, uh, uh, let's see here, what goes in here? Um, paper clips, thumbtacks, ornate spoons, crumpled up notepads with phone numbers to the fucking gas company, uh Hell yeah. Glad to know the rich are just like us. Is it how you anything you come big with Little knickknacks, yeah, batteries, pen lids, sauces from McDonald's. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, that's a beautiful sink though. That is a fucking beautiful sink. And look at this like half moon window. Beautiful. I would love it if like the sun would rise from there. Wow. Beautiful. Oh man, they got a drink fridge built in. They have a drink fridge built in, chat. But does it have an elevator? That's a great question. Wine glasses. I bought wine and I haven't even drunk it yet. Perhaps I should have a glass of wine tonight. I'm not really big on wine. I just I just got it to try. I got I got a bunch of what kind of wine? I um When is the hard mountain dew stream? When I uh, probably probably maybe sometime this week actually or next week. Uh I intended on doing it last week and then I got fucking sick. Or maybe that was the week before. I don't know. I have been getting sick non-stop lately, either due to weather 
overworking myself doing IRL shit. Fucking poisoning myself. I cannot catch a break lately. I cannot catch a fucking break lately, chat. I start to feel better, and I'm like, oh, can't have that. I'm gonna self-sabotage. Let's go. Okay. Um... Hold on, let me check, let me check. I have... I have... Arclight, thank you. Females drinking wine alone always ends well. What do you mean by this? Franzia! It's not Franzia. It is... It is... Um... Hold on. I'm so fucking slow, chat. I'm so slow. Look at this beautiful house in the meantime. Okay. Wait, could this be like docks? I just realized. I don't know. I don't know like what places sell every type of. I don't know how accessible wine is. Like there's wine everywhere, right? But like, I don't know if. I did get the Snoop Dogg wine. I did get the Snoop Dogg wine, the local brand. I don't know. You don't have local wines, Pippa? Can wine be local? Just say if it's white, red. Okay, yeah. Okay, I got a rose wine. I got the Snoop Dogg wine, which is a Cali red, red wine. I got a rose wine with peach flavoring. And I got a... I'm, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this in like the most obnoxious French way possible. And it's probably going to be mispronounced. Sauvignon Blah. I don't know how you actually pronounce it. Sauvignon Blanc White? I don't know. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Docs! That was with Snoop Dogg. It's so over. It's so fucking over for me. Rosé is actually pronounced Rousé? What? You're fucking with me. Just these nuts, thank you. Are you taking vitamin C? Yeah, yeah, yes, I take vitamin... I, I, wait. Do I? I? I think there's vitamin C in my multivitamins. She's in Compton! <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful table with a beautiful bowl with a beautiful flower. Oh, this is beautiful. These giant windows. Ceiling fan. Fuck, man. Fuck. Security cameras to watch the guests. Make sure they don't steal my $70 rocks from World Market. Hell yeah. If I was rich, I would shop at World Market. I'd buy all my furniture from there. Daka, thank you! And that historian did a documentary on wine recently. Worth a watch? Is it the w wine... The wine poisoning incident one? Those are lights? Oh. Okay, never mind. Beautiful bathroom? Evil Lair hideout? Those are track lights. Shit. <laughs> Mocha Blake, thank you! We should try fasting for a bit and see if there's certain foods causing the allergies. Fasting? I do that all the time. Not intentionally, but... Imagine Buck, thank you. Please keep water on hand, Pippa. Don't go full soccer mom. <laughs> oh! Beautiful bedroom! Oh my god, Chet! Oh my god. Chat, I would love a room like this. Beautiful. This is this is this is beautiful, chat. Holy shit. Look at this. Fucking beautiful. Oh my god. I wanna roll out of bed in the morning. Go look out at the lake. I wish I could open these windows. I'd throw rocks at the birds. Kidding, I wouldn't do that. I like birds. And throw rocks at the tourists. Oh man. Beautiful. I don't like the people statues, but Man. Amazing windows. Amazing. Just amazing. I don't like the lack of privacy. I do like the rabbits. That's a nice touch. Very nice touch. I would keep this cane. I don't use a cane for walking chat, but I would purchase a cane and it would have a dagger tip that is only revealed when I pry off the eagle claw shaped handle at the top. Oh yeah. And also the bottom is a flask so I can, so I can, um, so I can sneak alcohol into venues. Andrew Barrage, thank you. Okay, real talk though, Hardbound Dew is better than it has any right to be. Really? 
Joshua Hand, thank you. Congratulations on 30k peppers. Hell yeah, thank you. Uh, what is this room, chat? What is this? Why is fucking what? What is this? <laughs> what, what? What is this? Did they slay a mermaid for this tiling? What is this? Outer room? Bathroom? Is this Stormbringer? The Wingless Serpent? Proxy Melding, come with me. What the hell is this? A vanity? This is huge. It's made out of a dead sa snake. Fentanyl room? Oh my god, even the bathtub is. Wait, this bathtub is horrible. What the fuck? Wait, that bathtub is horrible. It's so small. Maybe it's just a camera angle? This is horrible! It's more surface than it is bathtub! Is this a bathtub for ants? Man... Can't even sit. Oh, this is one of those antique bird cages that are very impractical and not good at all for birds. Very cool study. This is this would be my stream room. I would put my computer right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Wonderful. Oh, very cool texture on the walls. Wow. Um I'd probably turn this into like a VR room or something. Maybe. Although it has like the, the fireplace that I'd trip over and kill myself on, so maybe not. I don't know. I don't really need, like, these party rooms like this. They don't really serve a purpose for me. Nice jelly cat rabbit. Um... Another bedroom? I guess one of these would be for, would be for, like... Whoa. Look at this! Holy shit! Holy shit! The walk-in shower with the fucking built-in bench and it's got like a lip on the side? The giant bathtub? What the fuck? A forest? What the fuck? Penguins? I don't think those are part of the forest. Oh, more dead snakes or mermaids? Very nice. You guys don't realize this, but the house is actually carved from the body of of Jorminger. How do you pronounce that? Your your Jorming Jorminger. Power snake. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da power snake. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You know that one? And I think you. The house is made for lizard people. A view. Yeah, this is incredible. I hope this is an elevator. Jorm Jormungander. Jormungander. Okay. Wow. Take a gander at this property. Wow. Wow. I would stand here with my binoculars, fan in hand. I'd gaze upon the birds and the trees. Hell yeah! Look at this. I would go down here. I'd put a, I'd put a giant plexiglass panel here to wall off part of this, and it would become a penguin exhibit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. I would invite the neighbors to come out for a stroll on the pier. And I'd push them into the water. I'd be like, fuck you. This is my turf. You don't fuck with me. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this is where the, this is where the servants would live. Inside this building. What the fuck? Wait, there's a hole in here! There's a hole in here! So you can see the water from inside the building! What? This is where I would dispose of the bodies, chat! Oh man, horse stable? Did you know stabling your horses is actually uh, very questionable? It's a debated topic pretty heavily right now in equestrian science? Wow. Very cool. Very cool house. Absolutely horrible from the outside. A complete and utter embarrassment. Um, I do like the, the ominous tower right here. That's pretty cool. I hope there's an elevator in there. I want a house with an elevator. 
and I want to get stuck in the elevator and I want to die in there and I want YouTube video essays to make to make long drawn out stories about how I was an eccentric uh, billionaire with with very quixotic tastes and and I I uh, I, I I had a penguin exhibit on the uh, sub first floor of my house and I, 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 I had a sword cane with fucking a flask attached to it and oh my god, yeah. How I dumped bodies in the, in the, in, in my, in my, in my boathouse thing. Oh my god. And I, I would die in my elevator. The castle at Smith Lake, the iconic lakeside residence that embodies luxury and exclusivity and birdhouse. Built in 1980, this extraordinary gated home offers unparalleled 180 views and a sense of privacy that only the castle can provide. No other house can. And if they dare try, we shall fire our trebuchets at them. And Vanilla, thank you for the $5. But Pippa, why are you the way that you are? And why do we love it? I don't know, but thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... The two-story solarium! Oh god, I want to live in a house that's so fancy it has these fucking words to describe the rooms. Yeah, it's not a sunroom. It's a solarium. You wouldn't know that because you're poor. The two-story solarium, not sunroom. Captivates you with stunning natural sunlight throughout the day. The open kitchen and family room showcases custom architectural details, including one of the three fireplaces. And stone staircase captures more views from multiple open decks, grass landings, gazebo, and grilling patio, which provides multiple areas for relaxation and entertainment. Indulge in the ultimate fantasy... Oh, fa 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 family lakeside, sorry. Sorry, I was fantasizing about my castle, Freudian slip. Lakeside experience with a boat dock, fish house... Four boat slips with two lifts. The castle also includes an expansive eight. Wait, does it mean lifts for the boats or like elevators? Cause it better be talking about elevators. It better be, it better be talking about elevators. The castle also includes an expansive 8,000 square foot workshop with four bays, a 14 by eight garage door and full RV hookup. The castle can be purchased with six plus acres with the option to acquire additional waterfront and wooded acres. Call today to schedule a private tour of this one-of-a-kind home. 651 saves. Are there even 651 people in the world that could afford this fucking place? Chat, what do you have to do for a living to be able to afford this? Oh, for boats? Ah. Oh. Man, did it say fish house? Yeah, for the fish to live in. See, poor people, we put them we put them in aquariums, but the rich, the people that can afford a five million dollar home, they have a house for their fish. Yeah. It's, they're just built different. Make lots of money. I'm saying I'm poor. I'm not poor, but like by this standard, I am poor. <laughs> Be born. Mm. How is it a castle? It's made out of glass? Human trafficking? Drugs? Learn to code? NFT money? Yeah, shady US doctor couple? Have you tried final housing in Final Fantasy 14? Isn't housing in Final Fantasy 14 like ridiculously hard to get? Potatoes, thank you. Sell propane? Are you too easy? Man. One lottery win. Illegal arms dealing. And re roll and be born rich. Fuck. Well, if it's that easy. If it's that easy. All right. Two million dollars in Pasadena, California. Pretty neat from the outside. Nice little jungle vibe. Just one lottery win. Just one lottery win. And you can't win if you don't play. Uncle Lang, thank you. I'm an agent myself. They buy really... Wait, they buy really big rural land out really far when it's super cheap? Cheap and wait for development to hit. Oh... I'm I'm picking up the strategies. Hell yeah, bro! Kids on Yuki, then come big baby. Hmm. Very cool driveway. Very cool. Uh, the inside looks like a normal house, surprisingly. A like lived-in house. It's very it's very frightening. I didn't expect rich people to actually like live in their houses. Bahamut, thank you. Hire mentally ill girls to sell coffee. True. Um, this room 
is very American Psycho. With a silly little gnome elf. What is this? Oh, is this like a fashion designer's house or something? Why are there so many mirrors? Chad, I think this is Patrick Bateman's house. I think... I think this might be... Uh, ooh! Yeah, this house is hideous. Malcolm Lang, thank you. Also, I get to see their income sheets. There are some very odd opportunities like ad board that can pull an extra 20 to 50k per annum. Huh? Very 70s. This house is... kind of terrible. He makes skin suits in there. Yeah, this is a man that lives here that makes skin suits. What the fuck? Look at the little Shrek donkey plushie, Happy Feet penguin. Is this house actually, like, grabbed from a different time period? And just copy-paste? Ooh, I would not jump on this trampoline. That's terrifying. Ooh, that's fucking terrifying. That trampoline is terrifying. Have you guys ever had the trampoline rip on you before? Because I have. I've had a trampoline rip out from underneath me, chat. Also, it is very close to the banister. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever accidentally flung yourself, but I have. Yeah, imagine jumping so close to the edge. This would terrify me. This is- this is actually terrifying. I could not... No. No, 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 no. Space Pie, thank you. Thanks for the nightmare tonight, Pippa. You're welcome. Yeah, the springs can break. The trampoline... Top part can rip. You can bounce and fling yourself off of here. One double bounce and you're dead. Half of the thrill of using that one! Oh, God. This is... This is horrible. Nice pool, though. The pool is nice. This just seems like a death trap. Oh, this is nice! A little bit fake looking? And by a little bit, I mean extremely fake and very cluttered. But I do like pawns. I do like pawns. This is very cute. It has very poor muscle coordination. I am genuinely not the most um, dexterous individual. I... how do I say this? I'm not like... I don't think I'm like clumsy, right? I'm not like, oh, I, I tripped over my own feet! <laughs> right? I'm like... I- I did not consider where I was going, and I saw- I saw a path to go through, and so I went through path. And I slammed my shoulder into the wall while turning the corner, because I am- I- I am a cat that needs whiskers. I- I have no- I have no depth perception. I am a fucking idiot. I, if my head can fit through it, surely the rest of my body can fit through it. And so I cut a corner too fucking sharp, and I slammed my, my, my shoulder into the wall, and I'm like, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Poor spatial awareness. I have horrible spatial awareness. Like, absolutely horrible spatial awareness. I was riding a dirt bike when I was younger, and... I was trying to, like, turn, and I'm not good at turning, just in general. Call me... Call me, um, Adam Sandler's character in, um... Not Adam Sandler. Call me Ben Stiller's character in, 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 in that movie with the models. I can't remember the name now. Jesus Christ. So I was turning on a dirt bike, and I, I, I tried to turn, and I fucking slammed my hand. Zoolander, yeah, call me Derek Zoolander. I slammed my hand into a fucking tree, like, against the, against the fucking handle of the dirt bike in between the tree. Uh, Lord's head, brother, So basically, you're likely to walk into a bar. Shut up. Shut up. Because I couldn't, I, I just, I just didn't turn enough. I just didn't turn enough. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot, Jet. I'm a fucking idiot. History is super sus. What's going on with that house? Multiple windows? I feel like that's generally a feature of houses. I think... I think it's safe to say usually a house has more than one window. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Believe it or not, I am in a house right now. And I'm gonna do what they call a science experiment. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna think of every window that's on this house. 
There's one in the bedroom. And there's one in the living room. And there's one in the kitchen. And that's three. Which I'm pretty sure counts as multiple. Now. Is this house an outlier? Did I dox myself? Big if true. Holy shit. Chat. Chat. Do your... Do your houses... Not have multiple windows? Tell me, thank you. Mature landscape. Dream's not gonna be interested. Oh my god. Multiple windows is a big feature. We got plans to move in. Yours is the only one. Fuck. I can't believe I just doxed myself. God. I just- I grew up in the lap of luxury. I assumed most houses have multiple windows. God. I don't know. I don't- I- I- I'm ignorant. I'm ignorant. Now, let me- allow me to go to the grocery store so I may purchase a banana for $19. Okay, multiple skylights. Newer central air conditioning. I like it when they say this. Newer than what? Newer central air conditioning! Newer than what? What is it newer than? What do you mean, newer? Is it new? Newer than what? Than before! Than the old one! Newer than old! You know, Andre, thank you. The house thinks that plebs live in apple houses. Probably in the 80s. Newer than the house. Perhaps. Perhaps. Mature landscape. This one might be like an actual term, but I'm not sure what it would mean other than like the trees being grown, right? Like what would this what would this actually mean other than like there's no there's you don't have to wait for any trees to grow in or whatever. What is what does this actually mean? Is landscape old enough to drink? That's a good question. Walk-in closet, remodeled kitchen, and wood cabinets, which is generally the material that cabinets are made out of. I'm gonna dox myself again, chat, and I'm gonna say that the cabinets in my house are also made out of wood. Actually, I'm gonna take this a step further and dox the entire history of my, of my existence living in houses ever. And I'm gonna say every house that I've ever lived in has had wood cabinets. <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. I know the bulk of you are living in storage containers. And so you only have one window and it's your central door when you open that up to get oxygen. And you don't have cabinets. So you can't have wood cabinets because there's just no cabinets. Jesus Christ. Your papa came fucking rolling in the dough. The area above Annandale Country Club, oh boy, has always been a favorite of mine. Well, who the fuck are you? Who are you, bitch? What's your name? Show, what's your fucking name? What's your fucking name? Tell me your fucking name. Who listed this fucking house? Who are you? Who are you? Who's the fucking realtor for this one? Tell me. Tell me your name. Tell me your name right fucking now. Chat, how do I find their name? Heisenberg. Chat. This coward's hiding their fucking name. This coward is hiding their fucking name. Oh my god. Yeah, I would too if I was such a dumbass. Toronto, thank you, 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 Oh my god. Okay, well, fuck you, mysterious realtor writing this. Toronto, thank you for becoming a big baby as well. Thank you for the tears. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dog, 
give a warning. Dog is like three minutes to end of stream, you bitch. I love the privacy and the lush, mature landscape and the tremendous views that the majority of the homes seem to offer. I'm trying to sell you this home, but you know what? All the other fucking homes in this same area have the same thing. So you know what? Fuck you. You aren't special. Kill yourself. You want this home? Well, there's so many homes available. And you'll never be able to afford any of them. I love them. I can't afford them. But you can't either. Fuck you. These attributes are all true of 390 Patrician Way. Ah, Patrician Taste. Cited below the street, Patrician Way is a 1955 mid-century on an impressive 45,000 square foot lot. For the last 40 years, the Wolf family has loved this special home. I don't know who the Wolf family is. What? Less dog sounds? Yeah, the dog is going crazy right now. The two-level floor plan of the 2,913 square feet offers two bedrooms, an office, and three bathrooms. The main level includes a primary bedroom suite on one side and the living room, dining room, and kitchen on the other. The living room features multiple skylights, blah, 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 blah. Anything interesting? Boy ponds and those views. Additional features of note are newer central air conditioning and multiple storage areas per the seller. The possibilities of expansion and lot split may also be true of Patrician Way. The listing agent does not know if this is a possibility and recommends a buyer to investigate these matters to their own satisfaction. Okay. So not much information. Inform information. Information. Ah! They're actual wolves. They're, they're dogs. They're dogs. They don't even use this trampoline. They're masquerading as people. They were like, what do, what, what, what kind of homes do people live in? And they just, they just fucking... Went with it, buddy. They were like, yeah, put a, put a put a fucking trampoline in right next to the edge. You know what? Hell yeah. You know what? Invite the neighbor kids over. You know what? The wolf family is just a husband and wife. They're infertile. They couldn't have children. They had a really annoying nieces, nephews, cousin. They were like, okay. Yeah, come visit. We put a trampoline in. End sentence. We got two more. We got two more. And then I'm gonna call it for the night. Fourteen million dollars! Let's take it up a notch. Fourteen million dollars! In Orlando, Florida. You can be close to like Disneyland. It's a it's a pretty interesting interior. Pretty beautiful. I gotta say. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty beautiful interior. I like the rug. I like the, I like the balcony. I want to stand up here while my guests are having a party and I want to sip champagne from a glass. A glass made of Swarovski crystals. And I'll look down upon them and then I'll spit on them. I'll be like, heh. Pores. Because they are not in a $14 million home. They're in a, they're in a, like, $5 million home. So, by my standards, fuck those guys. Oh, okay, the kitchen is beautiful. The kitchen is beautiful. I'm gonna say, with these, like, really expensive homes, usually it's, like, everything is just, like, a flat surface, you know? Not how Swarovski is pronounced. Well, when you can afford Swarovski crystals, you can tell me how to pronounce Swarovski. Bahamut, thank you. $14 million? That's a lot of coffee. That's a lot of coffee. That's a lot of fucking coffee. The sink looks massive. I didn't even see the sink. See an oven. Is this a sink? Oh, it is pretty big. It is pretty big. And it's like split. There's a room here? You'd have to like really crane your- Oh, look at the fucking Pluto! Oh man, oh man, look at all this shit! This is where a Disney executive lived. You go under, thank you. Who needs a house when you can buy a battleship and not worry about an HOA or the ATF? True. True. Oh yeah. Uh, some, some fucking at Disney lived here. And he would sit in this chair and he would invite, he would invite the lead animators in and he'd be like, so, I know you do your job wonderfully, but we're coming out with a new Disney movie. It's going to be a celebration of our 100th anniversary. We're going to call it Wish. You know, it's going to be a nice homage to our theme, to our branding of when you wish upon a star, right? It's going to be an homage to that. It's going to have a bunch of references. 
to like every Disney movie that's ever come out. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? All right. How are we going to make this? How are we going to make this? Pitch some ideas to me right now. All right. And the animators, they're trembling. They're shaking. They're holding a bottle. They're not holding a bottle. They're holding a glass that's half filled with wine where one bottle costs more than they'll make in a year. All right. Because they're animators. They don't get paid. This is just, this is just Franzia. The Disney executive gave them Franzia. He saves the real wine for himself. Anyways, okay, so. They're sitting there trembling, alright? And they're wiping the sweat off their face. And they're sipping their Franzia. And they're like... Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do like... 2D animation? As, as an homage? To the, to the great Disney classics? To the great Disney renaissance? Right? And the Disney executive, he slaps them! He's like, no! No! We can We're Disney! We gotta sell shit! We gotta sell slop! Do we look like, for some reason, the Netflix originals that are always really good? Do we look like the, the Netflix originals that are animated? All right, like Klaus. All right, that's just like fucking amazing. Okay. Disney, the, the Disney executive. Like, no, no. Do we look like one of them Japanese studios that actually cares about their product? You fool. Make it 3D. And the animators are like, okay, okay, we can do that. We can do that. All right. Um, you know, Pixar, we can bring some of those guys over. They're doing some some amazing technology. They just came out with with a movie that wasn't very good story-wise, but the the fucking the, the, the technology behind it was amazing. It was called Elements or some shit, whatever. We'll do that. And the and the executive, he slaps them again. He's like, no! Make it look unrendered! Paint the background so it looks flat! We want to go for discount storybook! You know when you walk into fucking Walmart? And there's the storybook section that nobody goes into positioned next to the magazines because children don't read anymore and adults don't read anymore? Nobody goes to the magazine section. That's where we have our little, the, our little, our little books with the gold leaf trim. You know those? You know those? And the animator, he's shaking his head. He's shaking his head. And the executive's like, Maybe you look like that. And the animator was like, okay. Okay. We'll have an unshaded movie that looks like shit. All the character designs will be terrible. And will be like background characters. From those shitty little Disney books that they sell in the magazine section of the grocery store. Oh. And the animator he smiles and he's like, alright. And we'll use chat GP to generate the script. We're firing our writing team. And the animator's like, oh, thank God it wasn't me this time. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm glad I survived another Disney layoff. Does this mean... Does this, does this mean I can be invited onto the... Onto, onto your seventh yacht you intend to purchase with the, with the money from our, from, our, from our staff layoffs? And the executive, he looks down at him and he says... Depends. You have any children? Okay, anyways. Oh, wow, this is neat. I guess they were really into Star Wars. This is cute. Look at the little, uh, what is this? Like C-3PO? Whatever the fuck this is. And there's like a Chewbacca back there. This is really cool. This is really cool. I like this. <laughs> I oh. Wow. Oh. B8. Oh, okay. <laughs> The Star Wars Theater. Yeah, this is really cool. Sergeant Buck, thank you. When are you getting put out... When are you putting out your official review of Atlas Shrugged? What? For the $10? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back. Go back to what? One of the other pictures? It's pretty cool. The pillow is a little bit silly. But it's a, it's a very interesting room. Very interesting room with a bar here. This is where the... This is where the Disney animators get paid. $10 an hour. To serve this guy, this Disney executive's family. Orange juice, margaritas. Is that a drink? I don't know. Is this authentic? Is this like authentic from the set? It's probably gotta be, right? If you're, if you're living in, uh, yeah, look at this. Look, fucking Disney executive ass house. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my God. What the hell? 
Oh my god. I would expect the TVs to take up, like, the entire wall. For some reason, when I imagine rich people houses, I just imagine their TVs are, like, built into the wall, and they take up, like, floor to ceiling. It's short for a real Wookiee. 100% Disney exec house? Yeah. Does that ladder actually go anywhere? I have no idea. Very cool bath bathroom. Shower. I like walk-in showers. This is... You're this rich, and your children have to share a bedroom? Are you kidding me? Buddy, you could pay to have an entire another house built for your children, and you're gonna make them share a room? You fucking psychopath. You're insane. You're insane. Yeah, and the beds facing each other is really weird. Not the fucking C-3PO dish thing. Not dish thing, soap thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. What the fuck? It's actually kind of plain. Am I crazy? I guess it shouldn't be surprising that the house of a Disney executive is as soulless as, as the, the suits running the business, but... That's a cool door. I like doors that have, like, engravings on them. I think they're, I think they're very special. It's pretty plain. It's incredibly plain. Oh no, you can't have that! Oh no, contraband spotted! Illegal contraband spotted! That's toothless! That's not Disney! That's like DreamWorks or something! Oh no! Double agent spotted. It's fucking over. Oh man! Oh, it's so over for you guys. It's so over. Oh man. Oh man. They're fucking dead. This is why the house is up for sale. One of the children of the house was like, My favorite character is Toothless! And the Disney executive was like, Sure, surely you mean, surely you, you mean one of Disney's marketable characters, right? You like Olaf? And, and the child was like, No, I like Toothless! And the Disney executive was like, <gasps> Okay. Okay, anything for my little princess! And so he put up some Toothless stuff. And then the, and then the, um, and then the other Disney executives took him out behind a shed and killed him. And they took all of his money and they added it to their dragon wealth piles. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. What's a, what the fuck is this couch? Hold on. Oh god, my eye burns. Oh god, my eye burns so bad. Chat. Chat. <laughs> You have such a lovely, like, naturally colored outdoor area, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna put a couch out there that's, like, child NASA bed set blue. Hell yeah. You have a fever? Shut up. Tony the Mighty, thank you. Yeah, Walmart blue. Jesus Christ. That was a poor decision. Yes, it was. What actually is this fucking thing? What is that? What is the giant toothless statue? For the love of God, I need to see, I need to see what that is. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, chat? That was a gremlin? I see gremlins. Pretty cool outdoor area. Nothing, like, amazing. Like, I mean, it's amazing for, like, for, like, how do I describe this, right? Like, it's amazing to, like, have that kind of thing, right? But by, like, $14 million standards, it's not that great. It's it's nothing special. By $14 million standards, I'm looking at this, like, how come you don't have, like, a built-in fucking pool slide, you know? Yeah, it's not exactly you. This is the only water feature you could afford with $14 million? Drug Lord house? Okay, the little... The, okay, the fucking water fountain part of, like, the hot tub? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That part's pretty cool. Man. I would not want to pull that shape. It would be such a bitch to cover and clean. What the fuck is that? Also, why is your TV so small and why does it have windows? Why... Why does it have windows? You can get a TV bigger than this from Walmart. For like, a hundred dollars on sale. 
And why did you give it windows? Your TV does not need windows. I think those are called shutters. Why does your TV need shutters? Okay, last one. Last one for the night. $17 million. 12 beds, 14 baths. Rick, not Rick. Wait, actually, wait, hold on. Was there a story for this? All this time, I thought you were toothless. Shut up. Box honor, thank you. Nick Rochefort is away. Thanks. What? Pippa Ranch. Full area meeting facilities. This sprawling Mediterranean masterpiece. Okay, this is the one we were just looking at. The Disney executive one. Defined by luxury and attention to detail. Sparkling Swarovski. Swar Swar Swarovski? 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 Chandelier. Chandelier. The eye is drawn outside to the wall. Oh, thank you for the raise! Everyone on YouTube channel, thank you, thank you, thank you! My name is Beth and Beba. We're looking at houses on Zillow. Here's the house we were just looking at. This is, this is my house. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. Um... Does it say, like... Who fucking owned this? Who owned this? Who owned this? Other remarkable features include a pet grooming room? You mean a pet grooming room? Just brush your dog outside. A separate guest casita. Home office, pool waterfall, smart home lighting and audio systems, and four garages, including three with car lifts. Golden Oak at Walt Disney Resort is a residential resort community where families can live in the embrace of luxury, privacy, and the magic of Disney. Oh my god, you're living on Disney property. This gated community features distinctive neighborhoods of magnificent homes, expansive natural preserves, and inviting amenities, including access to Golden Oak's private clubhouse, summer house, with superb food offerings served in casually elegant- Oh my fucking god, fuck you. Ditsy Ditsy, thank you for the 150 poke dollars. Need Lumi to explain this bougie shit? Yeah, you fucking belong to Disney now. Your children are going to be sucked up into the trash cans that lead to the under- the underground systems, and they're going to be sold off to the Disney executives. It's over for you. It's fucking over. Oh my god. You would have to be a fool to live in this house, chat. Okay. 17 million dollars! New York! Disney dystopia, yeah. Yeah, 14 million dollars to live under the tyranny of a Disney HOA. Historic gates, large dining pavilion, guest cottage game room, dining area, hot tub, fully equipped bar. Let's take a look. It looks magnificent. It looks like a stunning hunting launch from the outside. Like a rich person hunting launch. Oh wait. Wait, wait. Let's do the 3D tour. Maybe. There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, 3D tour. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna get in any trouble buying this place. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, the elevator. The fucking elevator chat. The fucking elevator! The fucking elevator chat! Oh! My god, three floors! Oh my god. Dad, I'm buying this one. I'm spending my 17 million dollars I've made as a VTuber and I'm buying this place. I'm gonna have a bartender full-time live here. I'll- I'll provide him with a sleeping bag. And nestle up underneath the- underneath the cabinets. Oh man. Oh man. I'll sit here on this couch from afar. And the bartender will stand here. And they'll be making drinks and shit. And I'll be eating popcorn. But not eating popcorn. I'm scared it'll break my teeth. So I'll heat up a bag of popcorn and I'll pull it in. I'll, I'll pour it into one of those those little plastic um like popcorn bag containers, right? And I'll 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 have that and I'll I'll be sitting right here, right here, throwing popcorn, shooting popcorn at the bartender, and he'll be like, ow, 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 and I'll be like, that doesn't hurt, and he'll be like, you're right. But why are you throwing popcorn at me? And I'll be like, you get paid to be my servant. 
Shut up and bear the weight of your sins. Yeah. Weird place for a television. There's a little piano. I'd, I'd get a bartender that also knows how to play the piano. Maybe I... Maybe... Hold on. No, you know what I'd do? I'd get a bartender that doesn't know how to play the piano. And I'd sit him down in the chair and I'd be like, I'm going to teach you piano. I don't know how to play piano, by the way. And I'd teach him to play piano. And I'd teach him completely wrong. And he'd be like, isn't this wrong? And every time he said... Anytime he says anything like that, I take a ruler. I take the fire poker. I take the fire poker, right? I take one of these fire pokers and I'd hold it up to his face and I'd say, You dare talk back to me? Your employer? And the bartender would be like, No, ma'am. And I'd be like, Damn right. Anyways, this is a lovely fireplace. <laughs> That's a butler. He's <laughs> trying to wrong as a joke. Oh my god, the fucking lion taxidermy. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is incredible. I gotta throw this shit out though. I don't need no fucking Monopoly table. Gotta put a Mahjong table in this bitch. Jackal box, thank you. We trained him wrong on purpose, as a joke. Hell yeah. We can keep we can keep the pool table. Dog, thank you. Where do I sign up? That's pretty cool looking. You know what? This one, this one is worth the 17 million dollars, chat. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna buy this one. Kelby, thank you. But bam, you don't even pay me! True. Fucking sick-ass dining table set. Oh my god. Unironic peak, chat. Unironically Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that red fireplace. Oh my god. Let me just walk into my kitchen. And pull out my Swiss Miss because I'm rich and I buy name brand hot chocolate. Oh man. Oh man. I'm rich, so my fucking uh, toaster has buttons on top. Your toaster has like a slider thing and a dial. I'm rich. My toaster has buttons. Hell yeah. Henry, thank you. There's a Warrior Cats movie coming out. I heard. I heard, actually. By Tencent, I believe. Yeah. Can I go out here? I don't think I can. Oh, man. And this is my... Dishwashing. Moss. Growing. Counter. For when I want to grow moss. And this is my... Second fridge. And the bathroom. For when I want to use the bathroom. After grabbing... My maple syrup. After checking on my moss. Hell yeah. Where does the mold grow? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, gun cabinet. Very cool. Oh, death chamber. Very cool. Hell yeah. Oh, and there's a room here. I would probably make this a guest bedroom, so that way the, the guests would have to stay down here and they would not come up to the second floor. What the fuck? Yeah, this is my house. It was made for me. This is my house. Chet, I'm gonna ask you for a small loan of 17 million dollars. You can, you can help me, right? You can help me, right? Tell you what. I'm gonna put down about $10,000 for this bad boy. And you guys spot me the rest. Alright? Th th does that sound good? Does that sound good to you guys? Does that sound good to you guys? Can I go up here? I want to go on the stairs. I want to go on the stairs. The me on the stairs. I want to go up the stairs. 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 Fuck. Okay. Um. Floor plan. I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, up, uppies. I want uppies. Up, up, up. Fuck. Fix 
Super Mason, thank you. I'm doing my part in increments of $5 a month. Chad, I'm gonna need about, um... Hold on. Okay, so... A, a membership to the channel is $5. This is 17 million. All right, divided by... We're gonna say YouTube takes like 2% of that. Um, and then there's like company cuts and taxes and stuff. I'm gonna say that I get like... $3 from a sub. I don't actually know if that's accurate or not. Chat, I'm gonna need about 5,666,000 people. Wait, 5,666,000? Wait, thousand? Wait, fuck. I'm, okay, chat, I'm gonna need 5,666,666 people. 100. 100 people. Chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need everybody watching this to subscribe. Uh, to, 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 to join membership. I'm gonna, uh, to join membership. I need everybody to join membership for that. So I can buy this house. Esteban, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! James Jameson, thank you. Best I can do is tree fitting. <laughs> Shit. Chad, I have bad news. I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford this house. Dwarf, thank you, I'm doing my part. I'm glad they were $10 to start a tax-exempt religion. Quad, thank you. Remember to boost from feet? Consider armpits. Oh my god. How do I go up to the second floor? I don't think they mapped out the second floor. I... 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 For some reason, the, these cheapskates, they did not map out the second floor. They only did the first floor. Austin, thank you! Helios, thank you! Fox and Pajalas, thank you! DM... DCM Scott, thank you! Dev, thank you! I did my part! This one, thank you. Just make a tier three YouTube sub for five hundred dollars a month. Cody J, thank you. To the to the house fund. Equalizer Jet, thank you. I'm doing my part. Black Fire Dragon, thank you. Nova Crusader, thank you. You're going to spend it all on Kenshin. Floor Nova, thank you. Where is the Culver's Dungeon? Rosa Tayuni, thank you. I don't know what you're on, Pip, but I'll take two. Brady P, thank you. Uh, Bad Lazy, thank you. Cinders, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus Christ, you guys didn't actually have to, but Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Spoiler warning, even if everybody in chat joined membership, I still cannot afford this house. Bahamut, thank you. Here's the rest of my savings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Draconic, thank you. <laughs> Say so, thank you. Big nothing, thank you for my gift of peace. Hi, Kim, thank you for my gift of peace. Toronto, thank you for another gift of peace. After you already donated 50 earlier, Jesus Christ. Sebastian Monroe, thank you. Glad to be of help. I'm glad we're, thank you. Can I come over and play on weekends? Uh, if you know how to play Mahjong, yeah. There's a little bear, thank you for Chandler makes video, thank you. Hey, thank you. Don't worry, people. I'll get you this house after marriage. Oh, okay. Jay, thank you. ACM, thank you. Doing my part. Magnificent Onion, thank you. Here's a couple bucks. Pick that beard, thank you. We're gonna hit that house goal in no time. Lord Shelving, thank you. I'm doing my part. I'm Gogadza, thank you. Take my financial aid money. What do you mean your financial aid money? Damn that gaming, thank you. Jesus Christ, Toronto, thank you for the 50 more gift PPs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy shit. That is a hundred gift PPs today. Holy fuck, Toronto. Thank you, 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 Jesus fucking Christ, man. Jesus Christ, thank you, thank you, thank you. El Dorado, Eduardo, thank you for five bees. Mika Lim, thank you. Uh, Ken Noisek, thank you. I got, I get the third stool at the bar on my arrival. Max Euphemism, thank you. Um, Garmfield, thank you. I have no money limo here. Have my gift sub message, thank you. Bullet Man, thank you for five bees. Fox and Pajalas, thank you. Another five dollars for the fifth house fund. Eat that then. Thank you, Chef Kennedy. Thank you. Alternatively, just walk into Cabela's and refuse to leave. That's my next plan. That's my plan B. If plan A doesn't work out, that's my plan B. Curl Kamui, thank you. Have a dollar. Thank you. <laughs> Hen, thank you. Minecraft Relata, thank you. Randall, thank you. Hey, many Christmas. Hey, many Christmas. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Craig Fonas, thank you. Just these nuts, thank you. Um, Big Man Bear, thank you! Uh, Zygmas, thank you! I'll really put towards the house fund anything to get you out of that moldy padded cellular. Jesus Christ, Mr. Thank you. Good news. 17 million R's is only about 20k USD. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a house in, with 17 million Argentinian pesos. Dr. Tuesday, thank you! Uh, Monami, plus Ben, thank you! Pixie Misa, thank you! Check the size of the land with this one. I will. Frackers, thank you for five good 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see how much land this comes with. It's 10,000 square feet. Holy fuck. Aaron G, thank you! Happy birthday, Nana! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Holy shit! 1,313 fucking acres! Holy shit! Thank you, 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 Twelve bedrooms, four bathrooms, comes with a personal fucking river and waterfall. Pyromaniac, bro, thank you! You know, Pippa, I happen to have a resume as a bartender for you to look at, and I thank you after every popcorn kernel you tossed at me. It's not fun if you don't cry. Press star, thank you for five gippies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man, chat. Partridge Park Lodge. Oh. Oh, it is a hunting lodge. Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. This is a commercial property. This is not... This is not somewhere you just live. Oh, try something for the Twinkie Pippies! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, 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 thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Have I grandfathered in? Jesus Christ. Look at the fucking fireplace and shit. Oh, my God. How much does it cost to buy a lion taxidermy mount? Fuck, man. Can't you live there anyways? I mean, I guess. I can only imagine the property tax on this shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My fucking boss was talking about, like... We could all move to a foreign country and have a compound. He didn't say compound. But he was basically talking about a compound. He was like, we could all move to a foreign country where everything's really cheap and we can all get like a house on like the same property. Just buy out like an entire cul-de-sac. Link why they didn't come to Because it's so cheap in comparison in some countries. Bahamut, thank you. Face Connect Hunting Lodge. Is he trying to start a cult? Perhaps. Jesus Christ. Fucking antler chandelier. Myanmar, yeah, I'm going to fucking Myanmar. Phase compound. Phase cult necked. Uh, but Manny, I think you're coming, baby. Holy shit. You guys ever just like sit there and think. How come other people get to be born into this? <laughs> How come other people get to be born into, into fucking... Inheriting and having 17 million dollar hunting lodges... And born attractive? And if they aren't born attractive, they can just pay to make themselves attractive. And they have no, no risks involved or anything, because they just pay top of the line surgeons. They can have whatever they want. Man, what the fuck? What the fuck? God. None of us will ever have this, chat. None of us will ever have a 17 million dollar hunting lodge. On a lake. With a river. With a waterfall. That we can go hunting on. Oh man. What the hell are these? That we will never have satanic fireplaces out in the middle of the forest to burn the corpses of the women that reject us in. Thank you, thank you. Hunting lodge means you could go vacay there. Also, don't drink the Kool Aid. George Sword, thank you, Pippi. WK9, thank you. Funds for Pipstein Island. Cannibal Small Cause, thank you. Fish really thinks every talent is going to work for him until they die. Zara, thank you for five Pippis. Man. Hugo Andre, thank you. With a house like this, you need four board to make sure you reach the end of your land from your bathroom. Hell, thank you. Sounds like you want a pal for a bartender. I know, thank you. Thanks for the shrooms, Pippa. My basement got flooded this morning, but the PS2 made it out alive! Hell yeah, it's been rough, but your streams keep me positive. Okay, ignore the past, like, five minutes. Oh, man. 
Imagine being jealous of evil people. I mean... Hey, Jameson, thank you. You could if you moved to a third world country. Like, is it... Come on, am I being unreasonable, chat? Am I being unreasonable? Do you guys really never look at these fucking... Ex exorbitantly rich people and you're like... If I had that, I would never... Need nor want for anything, nor would the people around me. Like, if you have this fuck you kind of money, you're like, yeah. All of my troubles, all of my family's troubles, all of my friends' troubles, solved. Anytime anybody needs a surgery, anytime anybody needs housing, anytime anybody needs anything food safety anything you can just give it to them man you would need to become more insane pippa probably a serial killer people are very adaptable i'm sure they're miserable too I mean, I'm sure they have a lot of problems, right? I'm sure when you're rich, you have a million and one different problems between family members potentially actively trying to kill you to gain your wealth to strangers actively trying to kill you because your fucking property exists uh, on the same lot that some other multi-trillion dollar corporation wants to build their fucking multi-billion million dollar hunting lodge on. That way, thank you. I just, I do this just with old beater 90s Japanese cars. But, uh... I don't know. I feel like the best kind of life is actually not like the 17 million dollar house, but having 17 million dollars and just like nobody really knows, you know? Wollston Craft Arts, thank you for $20. Keep up the awesome work, Pippa. Never stop doing you, and I hope for the best. Hail to Pakistan and forever punishing the forever punishing to come. Elliot, thank you, thank you. Uh, impressive canine, thank you. My friends' and grandparents have money like this. I spent a weekend once at their multi-million dollar beach house once. It was surreal. Jesus Christ. Like, I will never understand the Liver King, right? Because he was like a fucking multi-millionaire and he threw it away for... Uh, like, he didn't throw away his money, but he threw away his anonymity, basically. To become, like, TikTok famous. It is what it is, thank you. I try not to think of it. The green-eyed monster is a dangerous beast to follow. It's like... I want to have... Millions of dollars. And nobody... And nobody knows. And... I, I would just... I would just do whatever I wanted. Basically. Right? Not, like, do whatever I want, as in, like, I want to I wanna buy a bunch of drugs. I want to do fucking crack off of a hooker's back in Las Vegas after gambling away the entire salary equivalent of the fucking... what the dealers make, right? But, like... Can you imagine being able to, to just do what you want for a living? Right? Like, I'm already a VTuber, so I'm already extraordinarily grateful. Right? I already get to do what I want for a living. So I'm already insanely grateful with that. Right? I know it's like ironic coming out of my mouth or hypocritical, but if I could, if I could like open up like a bookstore or a library, one of the cute ones that has like little cats running around and stuff and just living like a very peaceful life. Like a little, little outdoor garden seating area, you know? Just like a small one in a small town, right? Have a nice, like, like a, like a lavish sized house, right? Like four bedrooms, four bedrooms, like two bathrooms, plus walk-in showers and shit, jet tubs, right? I want like a real comfy house, but not like gold encrusted lavish, you know? Like, I want, like, $600,000 house. Lavish. I think that is so lavish without being excessively 
though, you know? Like, I feel like that's where, like, all of your comforts kind of max out at. You know what I mean? Like, you got the decent garage, you got the decent yard, it's fenced in. Yeah, you can have, like, a little hot tub. You have enough rooms for whatever you need. Pool or no pool? I would love a pool. Man. Man. 600,000 is entry level in California? Well, I would not live in California. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, house you're content with from wealth, but not excessive. Exactly. Exactly. Matthew Atkinson, thank you. And again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Heck, thank you, Pippa. Have you been binging Hallmark movies? I have not. Castle house for the wind. I would also love a castle house, though. You know what? If I'm also fuck you rich, I would also love a ridiculous castle house. I would also... Listen, that is not a lifestyle that I would reject either, right? If, if, if I had a fucking castle house, and I have a moat, and I can have alligators, and I can, I can still have, like, a little peaceful fucking bookshop where, where I also sell fucking locally mixed loose leaf tea and shit not it's not my tea i don't make the tea but i have like a little stand out for like the other local businesses to like put their shit up for sale and i like kind of manage that for them and i keep track of everything and i'll cover like all the still I'll, I'll cover like all the stolen stuff for them as well right because i have fuck you money oh man i want to be like the kind of rich where i'm like sponsoring like the local fucking festivals and shit in town right i want to i want to i want to i want to be like yeah, this is my town. Not in like the gangster way, but in the like, I sponsored the $10,000 prize for the local high school's art contest, right? I wanna be like, you know what? Yeah, all the, you know what? You know what, the middle schoolers, they could use new instruments. Uh, the choir kids uh, are, are falling off of the fucking stands because they're, they're wibbly wobbly. I will, I will get you new ones, you know? Man. I will buy out the big chunk of land so the fucking Walmart cannot put its greedy little fucking demon claws in it. We'll have a different greedy grocery store chain. But one that's not quite as greedy. Yeah, the local charity woman. Have you guys ever been in a town with those before? I feel like that's like the most inspiring thing, right? Yuffles, thank you. Hello, Pink Prince is gonna fluff away from Fed. Have you guys... I remember, I, I, I talked about this recently, but there was uh, 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 a school that I went to where the local English class had uh, a beneficiary that, a benefactor that uh, would buy like these, these fancy magazines for all the students, right? It was like this expensive magazine subscription that had like stories and beautiful illustrations and stuff. And this benefactor would, would buy them for the English class. Hell, thank you. You need to invest enough so all the important buildings are named after you. Yeah! And, and then, like, the band. There was, like, a giant mock check on the wall. I don't remember how much, but there was this giant check on the wall. That was also from... I don't know if it was the same benefactor or a different one. Where it was, like, a certain... It was, like, a cup... Like, like, uh, it it must have been, like, $20,000, $50,000 or something like that for, like, new instruments and shit. New stands. Another day, thank you. Pippa unironically wants to upgrade from Hedge Wizard to Regional Wizard. Ah, uh, I went to a rich kid's school. My classmates had mountain bikes worth 5k. Meanwhile, I've never owned my own car. I want to be. I want to be the the anonymous benefactor for a small town. But also, I don't want to be anonymous because I want to be also a. Oh, so listen, I don't want to be anonymous. Prinkle Mats, thank you. I want I want to be able to go into town and people like treat me nicely, not because like they fear my money, but because they want more shit from me, so they're gonna be nice to me, right? You know what I mean? Like I don't need you to name shit after me, but like if I'm around, don't spit in my food, right? JP, thank you. I cannot imagine the Pippa from a year ago saying this. You've grown so much, Pippa. You inspire me to be better myself every day. Hell oh, yeah. I am... I am slowly... I am slowly leaving my Doomer cocoon. I am... I am seeking entry to society. It still scares me. Okay, bye, Calvin Pusher. <laughs> 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 you 
Mr. saying this last year. Did I say this last year? I don't remember. Slowly. Slowly. Any friends, thank you. Hey, people, look up the Parsons Castle from Clifton, Texas. It's for sale. I will save that for another stream. I will save that for another stream. Ah, yeah, what is bravery without fear? Indeed. All right, I'm gonna call it for the night. Uh, Abaddon, thank you for giving me. Miss Super Chatless, yes, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll put on a video to play. Notification, thank you. You don't want a high school named after you? Like PP High? Oh, that would be very based. I would like a PP High named after me. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty silly. Um. Raise. Rich house. Okay. Um. Is there anything new on here? Why are all these, why are all of these like really old? Why are all of these... Abandoned 1860s pink Victorian mansion. There we go. We're gonna mute that. Alrighty. And let me... In Discord full screening. I hate that shit so much. Um... Go to... Which one of these is the server? Oh fuck, I forgot I made a folder for all the... That? Okay, uh... Please connect community server. Okay. Hold on one second, I am grabbing the Miss Super Chat list. I'm gonna catch up on Super Chats. If that bores you, feel free to leave. But, you know, you can hit that subscribe button first. <laughs> it's free. It's free. You can subscribe for free. It doesn't cost 17 million dollars. Although perhaps I will make a subscription that does cost 17 million dollars. You know. Oil Princess Doko. Uh, best manager, thank you. You can always become an eccentric chocolate maker like Willy Wonka. Super guy, thank you. Thank you for always creating such a wonderful way to end the day. Thank you for being you. Pip up, pip up, ah! Pip Thompson, thank you. Let's fucking go. Congrats, Pip, on hitting 300k. Noble Crusader, thank you. Congrats on 300k. Onward to 500k. Ryan, thank you. She's dead. Jules thank you. Happy 300k, bunny. 500k by the end of the year. Jules thank you. Uh, congrats on 300k, bunny. 333k right around the corner. Ryan, thank you. Die, zombie. Absolute moon man, thank you. Scuff realtor, going from strength to strength with the guest host. First riffraff, to, and now Pipkin Pippa. Flash Pippi, thank you. Pippa, is my birthday. What kind of house did you give for me? Happy 300k to you as well. Can we get much higher? Happy birthday, Flash Pippi. Happy birthday, Flash Pippi. Happy birthday, Flash Pippi. Happy birthday to you. Purple Complex, thank you. Good morning, Pippa. Wow, good morning. Uh, Berserk Ray, thank you. Congrats on 300k. Hope you keep on growing and have more fun with all of us, Pippa Love. Buddy Meyer, thank you. Congrats on the well-deserved milestone. Boer, thank you. Congrats on 300k, Pippa. Next stop, 500k. Aquanico, thank you. Congratulations on 300k, little sister Bunny Rabbit. Arclight, thank you for the 20 gift pippies. BTN Fane, thank you for the 10 gift pippies. Samuel, thank you. In a dark comedy way, yes, it'd be hilarious. Smith Clax, thank you. On today's episode of House Hunter, she's a rabbit shit poster and he throws money at anime women online. Their budget is 300,000 and they're looking for a home full of love and mold. Notification, thank you. Uh, Princess Kristen, thank you. Congrats on 300k. Can't believe I've been watching. I was thinking about the fucking House Hunters being fake. That, uh, sorry, that just emotionally destroyed me. I can't believe they already have the houses ahead of time. They already have the house that they bought ahead of time. I hate that shit. Destroys me. Calm down, save five gift babies! Shiny, thank you! You know, fellow, fellow, fellow VTuber, come dust. God. It hurts. It's fake, it is. Uh, Princess, Princess Kristen, thank you! Congrats on 300k! Can't believe I've been watching you for over a year and I still don't regret it! Pre-ordered your plushie and can't wait till I get it! Hell yeah! Thank you! Ten Mac Gaming, thank you! Congrats on... Congratulations, people, on 300k! Your success is like our success, too! I think I now understand how sports fans feel when their team is winning! Hell yeah! Night evening, come big big bang! Congrats, Major, thank you! As a $10 dude! The 10 as! Congrats on 300k, Robin! Thank you! Uh, Tom, thank you! Congrats on 300k! Pippa, your army continues to grow. Auxiliary character, thank you. Kind of smart. I've been taking a hides from Twitter for the last couple of years. Very based. Thumbsaku, thank you. It's only natural such an adorable rabbit to reach one mil. Ah, another day, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Archive Bro, for posting the link to the plushie, which is still on sale until February something. Another day, thank you. Don't forget to make a Pipkin Pippa school for your aunts and fellow VSL kids who can't read good. Hell yeah. 
Uh, Brack, thank you! I was putting... I was put on pills that make it really hard to sleep most nights. I've been watching your streams and VODs to pass the time and it's really helped me cope. Your tangents and rants are the best. Thanks, Pippa, you're the best. Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna make a Thank you. Can't wait for the debates between you and Lumi 2024. Nick the dick, thank you. As someone who frames houses, I would quit my... <laughs> I would quit if my boss told me to build this. Wolf and Wings, thank you. I feel like Sakuna would live here. Potato Radio, thank you. 1968 was a good year for LSD. Tech, thank you. I don't think there is a basement exactly what the owner of a weird cabin in the middle of the woods would want you to think. Quinn, thank you. Are you, are you allowed to show the house's womb on YouTube? Good question. Totalizator, thank you. Pablo Picasso does architecture. Raymaster J, thank you. Tell me you need a butler. Sideways, thank you. 1.1 acre. Nah, can't even shoot it. Shoot on it. Uh, Boba Pavoni, thank you for the 420. Hugo Andre, thank you. If I could, I would buy this land just to tear down this house and use it for scrap firewood. Then build something that is livable. Two mil for less space than two low-income New York apart apartments. Wait, these are like the same doorknobs that were in one of the other houses. The house on the lake. What the hell? Winch cable, thank you. Uh, winch cable. Victorian doll furniture. Ooh, ominous. Pippa needs the Bass Pro... Sh Bass Pro Pyramid in Memphis. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Bob's Knob, thank you. Row houses like this are bigger than you think. They're skinny, but go back a good ways. In DC, they won't even let you touch the front of the house because it's historic. Hipster millennials spend a fortune on them. Ooh. Uh, Hugh Andre, thank you. Not much girth, but it has length. This guy, thank you. Aren't you a millionaire? Can't you afford a mansion? <laughs> Rick Bain, thank you. Drop my succulent Chinese dinner by the moat. Max Max, thank you. Plot twist, he's from Florida and gets to the door. Oh, shit. Samuel, thank you. Pippa being articulate. I can I can imagine it now. You lisping out the most eloquent speeches. Thank you. I don't have a lisp. Reshi Mela, thank you. Princess Pippa in the castle with Tenma as an angry butler. That might be a bad idea, though. She might start eating the walls. The dynamic doodle, thank you. It's a Colrus's room. Emperor Creatine, thank you. Quick, Pippa, while you're out at it, looking at a castle, we need a high-pitched Ojo laugh while you're drunk and style on all the plebeians. Bail on the Brave, thank you. Congrats on their 100k. Can't believe I've been watching for nearly two years. Hell yeah! Ask a curb, thank you. I'd remodel this house to have an actual torture chamber and remodel the kitchen to be 1800's tech at best. Bob, thank you. You sure wouldn't be the iron-fisted tyrant of the TP River. I would not. I would be a generous dictator. Pico Andre, thank you. How many artillery batteries can fit on the roof? Nasula, thank you. As a Midwesterner, Gary, Indiana is a lost cause. Worse than Ohio. Pyromaniac, thank you. Uh, check out or check the local missing kids in that area. I think I know where they're at. Skyrocket, thank you. Lulutila, thank you. Try Moscato wine. It can be sweet, peachy, and pleasant. Also, congrats on 300k. JP, thank you. Pippa, you spill a drink or knock your mic literally every other stream. True. I dropped my microphone on my head today before stream. That hurt. I was, I was trying to unplug and plug back in my phone cable because my phone was not charging. And I bumped the microphone cord and it came toppling down on my head. Ow. Space Pie, thank you. Only Linux at my house. Pivot cheers. Thank, oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Uh, Sydney Anna, pause. Thank you. Funds for the purchase of land in Texas for the creation of the Kapipi Commune. We can do it if we all chip in. Kelby, thank you. Disney exec, but no entrance for child slaves. Charles M Martins, thank you. If a version of Fifty Shades might be the better version. What? Any had a pause, thank you. Helios, thank you. Many Fresh, thank you. Uh, I'm doing my part. Mech, thank you for the $25 dues. I caved to peer pressure. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, Hugo, Andre, thank you. With a house like this, you need four board to make sure... I read that. Ah, hang up there. Thank you for fucking peace. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. My mom looks at a multi-million dollar lakefront house and says, do you think these people have a moment of time to themselves and not... To not be bothered for executive bull at 2 a.m. I guess they probably do lead pretty busy lives. Maybe. Marking serious. Thank you. Suggestions. Sakana sings like monogatari heroin with deaf by. And a fresh thank you. Clout is a dangerous drug. It is. I am I'm more than comfortable at the size that I am now. Right? Like it would be it would be really cool to to get more viewers and to impress like Papakin and be like, ah, I like Papakin. Look, uh, number go up, right? And Popkin would be like, wow, number go up. Uh, and I could be like, here's my play button from YouTube for 1 million subs. And Popkin would be like, wow, right? But also, like, I'm, I'm fine where I am. My dog is so mad at me. My dog, my dog is so mad at me. She needs to go outside. Dan Spoken, thank you. Get my gold water removed tomorrow morning. Currently at work. Love the streams. Pippo, thanks for doing what you do. Thank you, thank you. 
Uh, Charzu, thank you. I know exactly what you mean, Pippa. You got to stay at a five-star hotel for the first time last year. Oh, got to stay at a five-star hotel for the first time last year. Work paid for my room. Hell yeah. I thought to myself, there's people that get to live like this every day. It's fucked up. Damn, thank you. Keep it low-key, though. Otherwise, it'll be a crack then. you doing? you doing? What? 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 What'd you say to me? What? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Hey. Hey, come here. Come here. Fuck you. Hey. Hey. Come here. Come here. You suck. You suck. I hate you. I hate you. You're stupid. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm sticking you out. You better start paying some fucking rent around here. <laughs> yeah? Take it up with the HOA. <laughs> yeah. You fucking take it up with them. Don't you talk to me like that. I'll put you on the ticky talkies. Parent? Yeah. You fucking Karen. I'm gonna put you on there. I am. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna laugh at you. They're gonna find you. They're gonna find your address. Yeah, I know who you are. That ain't gonna stop me. I got 20 followers on there. Hey. Hey. Okay, she's done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn, thank you. I already read the one. Oh, obey no lies. Thank you. You'd rather have a beachfront house or a house in the mountains? Ooh, a house in the mountains. I told me, thank you. Best we can do is castle bouncy house. Alrighty. Um. This is Barry's cat, thank you. Did you ever get the 100k play button? I did. I did. Alright, thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name's Tipkin Tipa. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Oh, Apache, thank you. I had to leave for an hour and I think I'm gonna miss the end of stream. Only come back to Pippa providing narration to a schizo video. I love it here. Uh, I was talking to my dog, actually. I was, I was actually talking to my dog, but yeah. All right. Oh, Zuckers! I'm gonna pick somebody to raid. Let's see who's online. Yeah, let's raid Michiru. We don't often get to raid Damichi. Just playing Power World. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Stay safe. Don't get kidnapped by any Disney executives. All right, thank you, Pip of You're an Architect. Where will you put your human torture lab and your nuclear missile nest? Um... In my missile silo. That I renovated. All right, I'll see you! Till the fluffles away till the till the fluffles away till the till the fluffles away till the till the fluffles away till the